Hello, you probably can't hear us. I'm gonna check if you can. Uh, one moment. There's some dice in this house. You can There's hear them, but you can't hear me. House. Oh my I'm god. So sad. I have made I so many mistakes my with my thing. sound. Uh, all right, folks. Um, I made lots of mistakes with my sound setup today, so if you could all be patient for like 30 seconds, I will fix that. Because I redid it all for our charity game. And then I didn't fix it. But they're not charity game. Play for me. Uh, yes, that is a thing that I occasionally. By the way, we raised like over three thousand dollars for Saint we Jude. Did. That was an amazing charity yeah. event. Can we just like give it up for Kyle for fucking organizing that shit in like Very impressive. a month? Thank you. I look how cool he is. I don't understand. So cool. I'm gonna hide. Oh, no, I know how to repay compliments. Um. We raised so much money that you're going to have two Spellfire events go off. How about that? Oh boy. Let me grab I already my know one of, of them. Many things. Kind of. Uh, I've actually I already know. I've actually my already point press. No. <laughs> I've actually already <laughs> rolled up one of them, so I'll let you do the other one with me here in a second, Yara. I would like to um, say um, no. Okay. Too bad. Um you 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 called me out like this. One goes and back in time gonna... and kills all our brothers. I get yeah, see chat. This is what happens when I'm nice to Nova and just try to lift his self-esteem and be like, look how good you're doing. My self-esteem is in the dirt where it belongs. <laughs> Alright, let's <laughs> let's continue. Have you got do you want to just draw a card for me there? Just like like raise them up to the screen, shuffle it so we can all see it, let's draw a random card. And uh while he's doing that, we're just gonna have a real quick hi. Welcome to the scales above on roll for damage, which we didn't do at the start because I'm very professional. Um, I'm going to take this wonderful group of nerds, some who are at PAX and have to share, uh, yeah, share a mic over there. So if you're at PAX U, you might be able to catch them sometime um, this weekend and find out some stuff about them and us and what they're doing and just have a good time. Uh, Yarrow's yeah, still sorting things out. So what we're going to do is go, okay. Oh, you, you right. good? You good? Yep. Good. 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 Okay. All right. Raise it to the camera. Draw one from the center-ish. All right. What the... F I can't read it, but you can... Okay, put... it is the moon. I will read uh, what this does in about a second. Uh, the moon. You're granted the ability to cast the witch spell 1d3 times. God, <laughs> don't we need that? Now, I wish my was. brother was back. <laughs> there is a small problem with that. There's a small problem. No, with that. no, there is. No. Yes. Sadly, it's already been drawn. It's already been drawn. <laughs> oh. Oh no, because they. <laughs> Are you Pardon? telling me that you, they can't refresh after a season? That no. was two seasons ago. They're gonna refresh when there's less than ten left. And there's about 14 left. So. Oh, oh look at how, look Wait, how what, sad what everyone is. It was so is good just a second oh, ago. Okay. Let's let's maintain that We energy. could have wished ourselves into the sword. Let's, we could have solved so many let's problems. Let's maintain with that energy, but have another draw. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. All right, let's go. Let's have a look. No, you're not. Oh, Gem. Let's see. Gem. Uh... Oh shit. 25 <laughs> pieces of jewelry worth 2,000 gold pieces okay. each, or 50 gems worth 1,000 gold pieces each appear before your feet. Okay. So cool. we're rich. At some cool. point, that will happen. Well, you, you were rich, then you weren't rich, <laughs> and now you're going to be rich again. 50,000 gold? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. 20, 25 oh, yeah. pieces worth 2,000 gold pieces. I mean, Woo! you can always buy a wish for that. Um, so. Let's, uh, I am sorry a lot to of everyone diamonds. that was like, yes, wish, but unfortunately, Sips used a okay, wish to so, travel back to the Billowing Wilds. Okay, so... You oh. disappointed chat, Nova. So I, now you yeah, have to give it to us. Wasn't that, That's not how it's going to work. That's exactly how it's going to work. No, it wasn't. It was, no, wasn't it was, that wish a scroll? I thought it was a wild nope. magic search. That was a wild no, magic search. No, the scroll was a wild magic search. It was a draw from the deck, right? Yeah, the scroll was, uh... Was the uh, we, we teleport something sneezed and yeah, yeah if teleport. Dingo ever returns, she has yeah. oh, that's right, one she wish has, left. Yeah, uh, we what, can go find where she's staying here at Pax. Yeah, we can. 
Okay, so so I need uh, tomorrow after the season's over, you can run down to Dingo and be like, "We need you back on the show for a wish spell." Things are going well. You're gonna give this girl a panic attack, Jesus Christ! By the way, today I saw the Tarask mini in person. It's huge. It's bigger than I thought. Well, you oh will be God. fighting that at some point because I bought one. So will they um, in our game? What? <laughs> can we make it in the same week? Just like, just make it. No. Uh, no, 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 no. No, hey, you guys right. are assholes. It's... That's what I've said. <laughs> you know, people who aren't magical are good against them. But I am magical. No, I mean. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna move right along. That that I am magical was was cute, and Sean's just sick of your shit. There was, there was a bit of both there. Sick of all uh, of your shit. Can we get up with the intro? Please? So intros. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, we're gonna have a real quick one sentence. Who you are? Where you're from? And then we're gonna move on because tonight's gonna be a it was gonna be a long one, but I believe people have to go a little earlier because they are tired. Uh, so. Uh, Nia, who are you? Where are you from? Hi, my name is Shelby or Whistle. I'm from the channel Whistle While I Work. It's a channel where I tell stories from my D&D experience and draw whatever fun, fancy stuff comes to mind. I am a regular player here on Roll for Damage. I'm also a regular player over on Necro Hunt. We're getting really close to the end of that campaign. Shit's going down. And I'll be playing Nia, our destructive problem child. Okay. Next up. Ignis Riblight. Oh, hi. Hello. I am Aaron. I'm otherwise known as the Arshian. I am the creator of the series, How to Be an Adventurer, which is a Don Machi, or is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon parody series? I'm also over on Belkinus Necro Hunt uh, with Shelby, as she has said. Uh, I play Enoch Solomon on that show. I am a sad cowboy. And uh, also on top of that, I am the dungeon master for D6 and... Uh, we're about to start our brand new campaign over here on Roll for Damage starting next year, relatively soon. Looking forward to all of that. Uh, and uh, I'll be playing Ignis Brimlight tonight, uh, who will probably be uh, spending an, uh, who will probably be spending some of those uh, jewels tonight on this resurrection spell, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. Right across to... Oryx Solaris, who is now a two-headed twin beast of paradise. Hello, my name is Sean. <laughs> Why did you pause? I'm from Paradise. Protections. Oh, I see what you were doing. Wow. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm missing cues. Wow. Okay, start back to one. Start over. Hi. No, is, Hi. It's fine. I think, I think we get this. Rough, what happens is, Sean is, Sean is getting a hero point. And and <laughs> Shannon can, cause that was amazing. He just like lines you up and you're like, Sean? Productive. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> oh god, I unplugged my headphones. I loved it. Uh, we are a mess. Shannon, take yeah. over. Go nuts. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Shannon. From Paradise Productions. <laughs> See, I know how to cooperate. This is not gonna go this well. This is gonna be chaos. Yep. Um, <laughs> so Sloan might assault Auric today. <laughs> I was, that's I told him earlier. He's like, I can punch you now. <laughs> hey, the vet packs rules. It's on the back of the card. No, don't punch or kick people. <laughs> Specifically a rule at packs. It really is like right on the back of the card. Anyway, we are from Paradise Productions and we play D&D 5e on Monday nights. I am our community manager. He's our creative director. Uh, we do the... Uh, What's the thing we do on Sundays? The Shot and Shit and Power Hour. powerful hour on the internet. <laughs> on Sundays, where we recap our Monday night show, Advantage in Paradise. Over there, I play Red. <coughs> Tonight, I'm playing a... Barbarian fighter. I'm getting there. A I ball? You're dancing. So dramatic. <laughs> and I'm playing Oryx Solaris, a time man. <laughs> okay. So, I'm sorry about the stream elements thing that keeps telling you to... to we, uh, that fundraiser uh, is meant to be over you can donate i don't mind you go go nuts donate as much as you want to help against cancer but it's I, i'm not actively doing that this week stream elements who's apparently not believing in my deleted command it's still going i, I can't that's stop it Sky, stream Sky elements Sky also here. wants to give money to children that's okay right, right. yeah which that's what we're fine with it um i feel like next year uh if i have hopefully raised enough money uh i should go to pax you and we should just play a round table game because i need to see more of this chaos um 
And I'll bring like Tiamat and the two happening all day. All fucking day. And we have all day tomorrow too. Yeah, it has been so wonderful hugging people. I've never been to PAX. I've only gone to anime conventions. This is my first convention ever. I've only been to the convention I used to sell art at, which is like the small little anime convention. Alrighty. Uh, I feel like I've missed someone. Someone who's pointing to themselves, who who apparently doesn't know where they My are. My goodness, who could it possibly be? Kelsey, who are you? Where I are you from? Kelsey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelsey, also Roguzu on Twitter and YouTube. On Twitter, I draw a bunch of things, like for the stuff for the games that I'm in, or for my webcomic. And then on YouTube, I tell the story about the first game I ever GM'd called Atlantis. And now I have a short series that I am doing that tells the love story that happened between my character, Noella, and the NPC Yasuhiro, which it is different from my other videos because now it's just full of art. It's like a little animatic, basically. This next video has 273 pictures I had to draw. So Jesus <laughs> fucking, I'm excited nice. for it. Nice. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be here playing Saren Talonray, where I'm the head of a revolution, apparently. That's good. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> Key. Um, right, so usually no problem, I, I dirk someone to do the, the intro. Uh, I'm staring straight at Shannon. Well, wait, <laughs> what about Hero Forge? Oh, yeah, look, I'm Hero Forge. No, no. You do you want a? <laughs> Keep going, Sean. Right, come on. Go. Hero Forge. It is a excellent service. Uh, HeroForge.com. No. If you want, <laughs> if you want to create, fight, fight to for the sponsorship. Go. Buy if you it. want to create Hero miniatures, right here. <laughs> okay. and, and and you Sean know what? Not. <laughs> they sponsor the program, and that's awesome. And they offer all sorts of different uh, ways to make your mini, to craft your hero. You can get it in brass, or was it bronze? Not, oh. Bronze. <laughs> Metal. Uh, <laughs> see? see? <laughs> you could, you could fill a sock with several of the metal Premium ones plastic. and attack your plastic. teammates. <laughs> okay, Hero Forge sponsors the show, okay? That's cool. Let's move on, please. Okay. There's a lot of yelling. Go to HeroForge.com and make your hero today. Thank you, Hero Forge. Sean isn't yelling. He's just peeking. There's a big difference. Um, you can, don't have the you can control even of my down yeah, I know. your miniatures uh, with their files and make them actual halflings like this. It's actually awesome. Yeah. And uh, okay. And, uh, and, or make your dragonborn <laughs> he's, or your he's elf the... wizard. <laughs> he's or like, let me show you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, all right. the um, recap by Shannon. The recap by me um, is as follows for the season finale these guys will be rolling dice that's the start that's the first thing so you all had a good time like, like going to the shop buying a bunch of stuff passing it around and then top members of the party went back to their tavern one had a drink with yako two had more personal moments one spent some time with bob it's you near and then went off and talked to Yako and Tamel, getting told that you hurt him and seeking forgiveness, remembering exactly how you got to be where you are. Ignis went to a temple and with the help of a uh, priest there, who is the high priest of the sun god, Saren Auric. I'm just reading I'll fight for Hero Forge is slow short. Uh <laughs> managed to talk to an avatar for Divine Light and find out a few things that have been kept secret, which were later revealed. He also wished to find a way to redeem the irredeemable Nia, who we discovered had slaughtered thousands of people, uh, and taken their souls to fuel her magic. And these people were actually Sloane's tribe, her family, her friends. So, from there, we had the next session. That was a little interlude. And you planned and carried out the uh, prison break of Felix. There was some instigating of the crowd. There was the acquiring of a crossbow that turned once per day a fired bolt into a 
ballista bolt the size of a tree. Um, which just fucked up the pavilion and, and gibbet that um, Felix was hanging from. There was a fight between Sloane and Amir. Uh, Sloane won because she's OP. And Amir died. Although Saren had asked not to have him killed. A cat man with a red arm managed to assassinate the uh, head of the Varn household, much to the joy of everyone involved. Maybe not the Varn household. No. Like um, and Ignis managed to get close enough to teleport himself and Felix away, successfully carrying out the prison break. Because the duel was won, it means that he's legally free as well, and they have no idea where he's gone. Because he, he more or less looks like he was trampled in the confusion, given that there was so much chaos going on with this like, rioting starting, uh, it's really hard to tell where he was, who was on the floor there. Maybe only three people would have seen it happen, and they're not quite sure what they really saw there. So... To carry on. Whoop, I almost put all my notes over the screen, which uh, I saw Joe Cat do the other day, so it's just a <laughs> cool thing to do now. Um, he didn't mean to. Of course not. <laughs> that, well, that was my original thought. Oh, he meant to do that for the players to read his notes. No. Only no. the best DMs accidentally share all their secrets. Yeah. You almost shared Listen, one of my secrets. This is the reason secrets. why I keep everything right. analog. Yeah. Uh, until you drop that in front of a player who picks up, what's this? I die today? Oh. Um... No! Okay, so... <clears throat> the session starts with you all in the crowd or around it, near this arena where Sloane and Amir fought. Sloane, you are cradling the body of Amir, Vaan, as you walk through the crowd. Hey. I don't know, I don't know what this was. Like... He's a, he's a large man. <laughs> like... Yeah, that's better. <laughs> uh, they part before you, patting you on the back and cheering crowd is getting more violent. You see them rushing headlong onto the blades of the Knights of the Word are being chopped down again and again. Scores dying for each knight they bring down. Others are beginning to break into people's homes and throw them out into the streets crying witch, dragging them into the arena where people are forming a pyre from the wreckage of the gibbet. From the third story of a building to your right, you see someone in the green and black of House Umberheart be pushed out of a window by a mob to land on the floor the stone street with a sickening thud. You hear the cries of, You never intended to protect us! You just drain us of our money and lives! And, Death to the nobles! Rise of the People's Queen and return of the God Emperor! What are you doing, Sloane? Uh, I am hearing none of this. Uh, the sound around me has just like faded. It's muted. It's there's a little bit of ringing in my ears, but I don't I don't hear anything. I'm just like expressionless, walking forward, carrying a mirror, and just unconsciously knowing where subconsciously, not consciously. Unconsciously, uh, it's the worst. Unconsciously not knowing where I'm going, I'm just letting my feet direct me to um, probably back to where my friends are. Make a. I'll let you make either a wisdom or intelligence check of your choice. You can. Is your character sheet? It's right here. Would you say wisdom or intelligence save? Uh, check. Your choice. Check. Check. Uh, well, it doesn't same. matter. about the same. <laughs> Smooth. 14. 14. You are walking roughly towards the one-stop shop because it's a central meeting point on the outer edges of town. I mean, it's, it's in the middle of everything, but because it's on the port, it's not as close to a population center as the taverns will be that you were at before. Uh, and if anywhere... The people there, Yako and Tamel as well, might have a way to fix what you've done. 
Okay. So I guess that's maybe in the back of my mind. Like the, the only thing I can think of is just like somebody needs to fix what I broke. You have that feeling, but usually when you do something you think is wrong, you feel cold and distant to the event. Your mind is telling you this is wrong. Your body, on the other hand, is warm. And you have this almost... <sighs> edge of combat ap excited feeling about you. But at the same time, knowing that you was told not to do this, and you did it anyway, for, for not necessarily a bad reason, but you did it, has you very confused, I imagine. Very guilty as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Auric and Nia, are you making your way back to the one-stop shop at this point, seeing Sloane head that way? I Did I see? I've been lost in a crowd this entire time. She's pretty big. I never even made it the, We had that I never even made telekinetic fight, bond, right? So. Yeah, you have a telepathic uh, bond. You can talk to each other. Okay, yeah, if I'm instructed, yeah. I just need to be told because, you know, I'm small and in a crowd. <laughs> I don't think Sloane's saying much. What about you, Auric? Say anything. Um, <sighs> Auric is very unsure. I imagine Auric is actually kind of just having a bit of a, a panic in the crowd as the crowd consumes around him. Uh, as the fight, as everyone rushed the battlefield because he was on the edge of it, about to run up to Sloan. I think he's just like letting people run past him, like not like hitting his shoulder and he's just standing there, letting the scarf hang loose around his wrist, just staring off and watching Sloan walk away in a bit of shock himself. Okay. I mean, he might telepathically send out, where are you going? Uh, I just keep walking. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Where are you going? Sarah. You hear this. You're the only one that can see everyone. You're on a rooftop, still half hidden. Do you want to direct them, or do you want to do something else first? Sarah has stood up at this point, and just in this burst of like emotions and anger she has activated radiant consumption and it's just like this burning star on the roof and through like she's just going to like jump down onto the street and would i be able to cross paths with sloan as i walk towards where the battle is was she's going the other way like she's quite far through okay. the crowd you probably struggle to catch up until people realize that it's you and right now you're just this glowing star people are averting their eyes but they're not really making a path okay um well i'm not gonna run after her but i'm going to be walking my way to the center of where they fought so then i can pick up amir's weapon and through the telepathic kind of link um i can kind of understand like the direction that sloan is going right like i know what's there and that is where we should meet or should we be going to the boat um, one stop shop is by the boat yeah it's it's half out from the boat okay it's in the right direction okay uh yeah she just through the telepathic link just says Go to the shop, the boat. We'll meet you there. There you want to be alone? I'll be there in a moment after some words. And Sloan, I'm not angry. Please keep hold of him until I'm back. And... Uh, going to 
pick up my brother's weapon. I, is it the center here that they were making that pyre? Yeah, um, they haven't lit it yet, but they actually like stabbed mm. that weapon into the ground to form the central spike of it. Okay, well, that's good because I was going to go at the top of it anyways, just to be kind of seen. Um, and I gonna give this a go i don't know what i'm saying but <laughs> she is going to call out to everyone and say that felix's innocence has been won he is free now and now here we are showing these noblemen that like to think of themselves as the pillar of this community that they are nothing without the foundation. The foundation that is the people. All of you. They say to not bite the hand that feeds it. But the nobles are not the ones that feed you. You are the ones that feed them. All their power, everything that they are able to do, is because of you. And they forget that. And they abuse you. They use you. Remember that this is your home, though. You destroy it, you make it your own. Go on strike, hold off. So then they do not have the power. See what they are without you. So then an agreement can be made and change can happen. Show that this is your home. not their kingdom. Can you make a performance check, please? Sure. Oh, performance. Okay. Can I have a... It's more performative yeah. than a thing yeah. to a group, so I feel like it makes more sense. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, I, don't, like, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I'm gonna... Use my inspiration. Wait, is the inspiration that we got the um, reroll or is it the re -roll. bardic inspiration? Oh, wait, sorry. It was actually, yeah, because it was his inspiration to everyone. Yeah, so, bardic. Been, uh... so it's okay, a, okay. I think it's a d12 12. Yeah. to add to it. Jesus. Jesus. I'll set that aside so then I don't accidentally knock the dice over and forget my number. Okay. The sound of a dice being rolled. Um, crab math, crab math. Twenty-five. Twenty-five crabs. Eight plus okay. seventeen. Yeah. Um, there is a bit of a cheer, and your words seem to have got through to them pretty well. You have them very riled up, um, and there's like the crowd is gathering and swaying, and it's starting. To, you can feel the energy building in the area, and then you hear this. Do you step down or do you, um, like, do you go off after your friends? I, I'm going to start to, like, walk down. Yeah, walk down the... Okay. As as you're walking away, you hear this whistling sound. And Shoot me. If you look up, any of you look up, you'll see this dark comet falling from the sky. About... 50 feet above the center of the arena it flares black feathered wings out an ivory skinned angel descends from the sky is a full 20 feet tall wings of deep black and with tears of crimson running freely down her cheeks she wears a simple robe crossed over her chest and open at the back her bare feet are covered in the dirt of the road the wild blonde hair is windswept, and in her hand is a sword that burns with a righteous golden fire. Listen to her words, mortals. I come to tell you that your rage is pure and righteous. For I am the weeper, the angel of vengeance, she who rallies the downtrodden and makes them mighty. Too long have you been yoked to their rule. 
The thousands gathered outside are here to take down your city, kill your emperor, and break your spirit. For the want of a few gold coins, they have outlawed and persecuted those of you who have touched by the arcane, and then indoctrinated those of you with the gift of the divine, keeping all the knowledge and power for themselves. It is time for you to take back all your power for yourselves. Your city, your nation, sally forth and take their heads. Everyone make a wisdom saving throw, please. Why wisdom? <laughs> I'm not there, by the way. I know. Do I do I legitimately have to, or is this no, no, no. beyond dimensions? It, it's uh it affects things pretty pretty big. Oh, that's but... a six. <laughs> You got an 18. Thanks, Nia. Hot <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog, come on. Nice. I got a 12. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I have a reroll. You, you can't, I mean, you've got inspiration and you've got your hero point, so you can use those together to get a thing. <laughs> reroll it. Well. No, it's not going to make I mean, any different. I... No, I got a natural one. I mean, so a reroll will can make a difference. It. A reroll will literally like. <laughs> yeah, that, it can't get an actual one. <laughs> Fine, I'll reroll. It's up to you. Like, I'm Sean not just like, you. hmm, I'm very interested in this. <laughs> or I could just become exhausted again. <laughs> I'll Please stop. Please I'll use a reroll. Yeah. Save the uh, uh, I'll save the exhaustion for an important roll. <laughs> uh, it's an eleven. Eleven. Okay, uh, so we've got a 3, an 18, and 11, and a 12. Very wise. <laughs> right. Uh, Nia, the first rune on your mask activates, and you feel it sort of glowing, and you can see there's a little bit of red light being given off by it, and this, like, thick sort of uh, smoke is like pouring out of your mouth with every exhalation uh, as you become immune to this charm effect. Mm. This is a once per day as a reaction. You can become immune to any charm effects for the next minute. Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sloan. Wait a second. Desmi. Sorry. You have an advantage. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> what me? Why? Your, no, I have you? advantage. Oh, yeah. you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sloan, your weapon feels fear. Ooh, it's about time. This angel's presence almost has its shivering in fear. Nice. Did you get any better there, Sean? Yeah, I got nineteen. Are you gonna use your uh, bardic inspiration? That sounds like a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to. <laughs> Is this D12? Huh? I always uh, forget. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's, uh, now it's a 24. Good. You've, you've passed. Um, you feel fear, and as this cheering around you becomes deafening, and the crowd surges to the walls to take the fight to the Marius outside. The noise okay. is so loud that none of you can communicate through normal means. Uh, <laughs> Yari, you won't get a chance to act at the moment, but you who is, would have just about teleported back to the boat by now, would have, can oh, hear- wouldn't. Pardon? Remember, he's not in this dimension. Ah, yeah, yeah, but you can he's teleport back up. He's still in fine. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be fine. Um, <laughs> You, you will, will have you come back anyway. You have to get back to oh, yeah. the, the boat. So if you teleport back to the boat, yeah. um, you can hear the roaring of a city full of people cheering and and like uh, the, the whole city is yelling a battle cry so surges towards the walls. So just towards the walls. Um, it almost feels like it just vibrates the air across the entire city. Each of you at the at the arena around that area at her words, they reach into your heart, mind, and soul and fill you with this righteous rage. 
same warmth that you usually feel Sloane, but a thousand times magnified. You can't help but feel there's truth to her words, and that all these nobles need to pay. Behind their pretty words of governance and defence and doing the right things by gods and men, they are pitiable, pathetic creatures that need to be ended. So, Sloane, mm. as you begin to react, you half drop Amir's body, and then you get this feeling of fear from your weapon, and it's enough to shake you. You're the only person that had to get out of jail free card for this, so um, the weapon my brother. effectively uh, is telling you to run out of the city as fast as you can. Ah. Uh, not so much in words, but in feeling. Yeah. Things are about to get bad here. Okay. Um. For the two that didn't pass. Oh no, because you re-rolled. For the one that didn't pass. So. Can, can I get you to roll a d4, please? Uh oh. Ooh. Okie dokie. I like when you ask for d4s. <laughs> I got a four. Hey. Oh, All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's the direction you're heading, and the direction is four. Head to the port. You are heading to the port to take out any nobles with their merchant ships and their greed, the way they get their money in from other nations to to steal the wealth from others that they could freely distribute amongst the people. The Someone slap me. Merchant elite have to pay. Do, do I see? Do I see Saren going off in this direction? You are in the middle of a riot. You're seeing not much but people screaming and stabbing. Um, oh, fuck. But to you did get told to back. head towards the boat. I have a question. Yes. Um, so this influence that's over Saren particularly and Sloane, um, they have these compulsions, but relatively like they are in control of themselves so to speak. Yeah. Like they still can talk to us if they wanted to in our, with the heads, the telepathic bond. Okay, just check. So, uh, I guess you all are still heading to the boat. Lucky you, no one, no one got sent to the walls to fight. Um, over the course of the next half hour, you'll arrive, uh, maybe close to an hour and a half actually, just thinking about the distance. Uh, you arrive at the arena in drips and drabs. Not the arena, the boat in drips and drabs. Um, and Yako and Tamel are standing out front with Bob and there's a number of dead people around them as they've had to defend themselves um, you can see people have brought tar, pitch and flame to try to burn the boat um, and they've defended themselves the Marius have pulled further out and they've sunk several ships trying to leave along with just firing their repeater bolt throwers indiscriminately into crowds pulling on the docks you see that there is a single pyromancer out there on one of the ships and there's maybe two to three thousand burnt bodies in the water on the docks one magic user against civilians it's a massacre. For those playing at home, uh, it's funny, not funny, terrifying to look what Firebolt does at 120 foot range across water when almost un any numbers are trying to get to them, they don't win. Magic user always wins. Um, Do I still have that thing the Marius gave me? Uh, what thing? The, the signal. Yeah. That will give us safe passage. You do. Good. Provided you've done your job. I mean, they don't know I haven't done my job. Uh, okay. So you arrive at the boat. Saren? Um, what's your movement speed if you're running as fast as possible? My movement speed if I'm running as fast as possible would technically be, uh, 120 feet because I'm a rogue. Okay. I feel like you're going to outrun Sloan. Uh, who's carrying a body. Someone please notice that there's something wrong with me and stop me. 
I would um, love to, but <laughs> I gotta fucking kill him. I gotta fucking kill him. <laughs> um. Well, I guess yeah. Like, what's the order we arrive there? Saren's gonna arrive a good few minutes before you guys, since uh, <laughs> she's moving at least twice as fast as um, Auric and uh, Nia, and maybe a third faster than Sloane. Yeah. If I don't sense. include her encumbrance, but she's jacked, so it's fine. Um, I'm scared. You get there, and. <laughs> With your brother dead, you know the line of succession here, so I imagine you're absolutely livid. Um, would you say that you're almost in like a, not quite, but very close, like a rage blackout, just, just running in to help the people at this point? Especially since you've got this charm effect on you, which amplifies your rage exponentially. Because of the charm effect, yeah. Because I, since I felt that, yeah. Okay. So I hope Tamel or Yako like bitch slap me the fuck out of it, because I'd. <laughs> you have memories, or flashes of you charging up the gangplank and shoulder barging someone into the water, kicking in a captain's door, impaling him with one of your rapiers, and then pumping lightning through him until he just atomizes. You jump off the back of one ship. These ships are parked pretty close together since the blockades come in. And land on the deck of another. And then it cuts another memory. And it's just you almost slipping in. There's just blood everywhere. Bodies laying around. And again and again and again. Until you are looking you can't quite see out of one eye at the moment and you're looking into handsome elves face one eye purple one eye red he's holding your sword wrists and the weapons are very close to his neck uh, you all right oh, snap out of it come on and he's like slowly forcing you back Let, let's go <laughs> what happened you kind of look like Carrie at the moment. It's just red. I, I, it's, I don't quite understand. The whole city's gone insane. Um, and he sort of, in Yaku fashion, um, turns around and where there's a um, barrel, uh, strapped to to a mast, he just grabs two drinks and hands one to you and sips the other and stands at the edge he's like and you look down there's Bob and Tamel at the bottom of the gangplank just hewing into people it's been uh, a bit a bit insane actually I... we're going to try to leave soon but uh and he looks out and you can see this sinking ship on fire from where the Marius is sinking them it's going to be a fight oh your friend's arriving and turns around and Sloane you are running up there's about four or five people alive between you and uh, the boat are you going to do anything are you going to dodge are you going to barge through what are you going to do uh, I'm going to try and shove my way through okay so you sort of run in shoulder barge run the back and he falls down and then as you get one turns and he's just got a club made of like just a piece of wood that he's taken from a shop somewhere you just kick him straight in the chest he's fucked you are very large very good at fighting he uh, flies back a few feet lands on his back coughs a few times uh, before getting back up but you're past him by that point jump onto the boat you climb to the top deck and there is Saren you place the body down Auric you can now see the ship What would you like to do? I'm gonna go over to my brother. I'm looking oh. anywhere except her. Wait, just a second. I'll get to that in just a sec. Because Auric, you can see the ship. What are you gonna do? You got any way to get there faster? To get past all the people? Or are you just gonna try to walk through? 
How far is it? Uh, you can get quite easily within 60 feet before you get caught up in people. I might kill a bunch of people, but... That's just not close enough for me to teleport. Okay. Do I see him off of the side? Uh, are you two... I turn around. You weren't... You didn't know he was behind you to this point, and you are on the deck holding Amir with Saren in front of you. Are you more focused on Auric potentially coming, or on this act you're going through right now? I put I, I put his body down for Saren, and I'm not looking at them. Okay, so you walk the edge. Uh, you would get there as Auric decides to cast a spell or not. Would you like to cast a spell? Uh, how many people are in? It's, it's the kind of thing where I can't walk through. I have to get it. Uh, there's, without risk, risking something. There's five people currently, and there's more coming from behind running to try to get on the boat. So you'd have to make a clearing if you want to get through easily. All right, then I will dimension door there. Okay. You dimension door um, onto the boat? Yes. I have... Um, sorry, I'm just checking my notes. I've cast dimension door successfully five times before with Dunamancy. Um, so I don't know if this has been completely converted to a Dunamancy spell yet or if this I'll is a wild you. magic situation. I'll make you cast... Make you roll one more arcana check for this. It's your last one. Cool. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Quite Otherwise, you would have told me it was completed last yeah, time. It's quite a low DC okay. this time. I thought, yeah, I thought it was close to done. I, yeah, I mean, it was. It definitely was. I just didn't have it completed la the last time I used it. I haven't used it in a while, because the last time I used it, I freaking died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is a... Um, 33. <laughs> yeah. You sit there in the moment with everything happening. I have expertise. You um, just see what's happening and you sort of just almost pull space towards you. So it's not so much a dimension door as you just create this small folding of space between the air above yeah. the boat and where you are and you just step across it and unfold it again. You're there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Small wormhole. Yeah. Everyone in between has a really weird existence for a second. Uh, I will see the situation as it currently stands all around. Um, I will yell to Bob uh, and and uh, to Mel, get on the ship. We need to leave immediately. Go, 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 go. And I will cast Wall of Force in front of the ship to block nice. people from coming after us. Okay. He's about, he's like, we can't get away there. Do Ooh. <laughs> Wait, am I still coming to the? Okay. Yeah, you're still coming. Oh shit! I didn't know. I thought he was here. <laughs> you just locked me out. Wait, so, I didn't see. I thought that. I thought that. I thought that dummy over there was Nia. Um, I thought that barrel so, was Nia. <laughs> Nia, you're about two blocks back, so you kind of see him cast a spell, and then as, as you step out, he casts a spell. You can get up there if you want. It's just maybe you'll have to get in the water or do something different. So uh, okay. you can run straight for the boat where all the people are. Or you can find an alternate route. What would you like to do? Well, I have ways to avoid attacks from the people because I could use my deed points to invoke Graceful Stride and avoid opportunity attacks if I just keep running. Okay, so you just keep so, running until you get to I the water help and you just like... I yeah, yeah, because I, I didn't know that was there. You become, you become a mime and Bob's in the side like, Neil, yeah, who? I just imagine Nia's like Boy. behind her fending off these fuckers like just stabbing outwards like I trying to find the boundaries of this thing how far does the wall of force go I'll get in the water if I need to get in the water double dimension door to get her back in okay uh, I have two slots slots. Left. I mean you can also misty door. step down dimension door back if you want right? oh yeah thank so. you yes thank you for, 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 for <laughs> Thank you for being smarter than me. Yeah, Missy step first, and then Dimension Door her back in. So, yeah, so Nia, you would you would be doing all this, you know, I imagine freaking out or, or analyzing an orc. She's like, this is going to feel very weird. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know the Nightcrawler scene at the start of X2? She's just... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> well, the, what I wanted to do, if Tamela and Bob are still fighting, I wanted to help them, but if they're not fighting... They're on the other side of the wall. They're, they're on the other side of the wall. They're not fighting. That's why they, he's, okay. he's like, he's like, oh, Rick, fix it, fix it, fix it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, Nia just looks disoriented and... Uh, Fuck. Um, I just realized. So I need to take a 30 second break. I'm sorry to everyone because it's a very big moment. But uh, my partner is sick and she's got a doctor's appointment in 30 minutes and she's not bad enough that she can't drive herself. I just need to make sure she's awake. Yeah. So I'll be just I'll a be Just minutes. role play amongst yourselves. Have some fun. I'll be able to. <laughs> Can I just go hug Saren? This might not be canon, but can I just hug Saren, please? I think yes. Saren needs a hug. Well, I'm imagining yeah, don't worry. Really I'm, cool. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm coming back at the speed of light, my friends. I'm coming yeah. back. Just give me a minute. Just, just, just let me hug. <laughs> let me hug my sister, please. Yeah. I am imagining <laughs> standing at the like standing at the edge of the ship, just looking over, and the like on um, to my left the two of you are hugging and i'm just looking out mm -hmm. well, Auric is just yard stare out the distance 100 percent auric is just panting and like kind of looking around and having used a lot of magic in a very short amount of time she's gonna look at sloan just for a moment and then look to saren and uh if she looks if saren looks at Oric at all, he'll just very quietly whisper the words, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I tried. Just, she shakes her head just, and there was like a moment where like her body just kind of like, just like muscle memory like did hug uh, Nia, but it's not like an actual tight hug. It's just like my arms do that. But then she like Being covered in viscera. Yeah, <laughs> go just goes limb, and she just walks away from Nia. It slowly goes to her brother, where she f just gets down on her knees and picks him up, and kind of moves his hair out of his face and just is holding him as she, she's shaking and she does have tears coming like down her face as she's just it's okay the beast was right this is the only way to actually save Felix. I just... I caused the situation. He knew that. Amir knew that. He did it all on purpose. He did it on purpose, the fucking idiot. <laughs> it's fine because we're going to bring him back. We're going to bring him back and then I can tell him how much he's a fucking idiot. Nope. Fuck, he just slap him for, he thinks that he's so smart, but he isn't. Yeah, Yako kneels down next to you, puts an arm around you and says, Anything I can do to help love, ask. I, in fact, she tells me that your friend, the healer, is on the way upstairs. He'll be here in 30, 40 seconds. And I have a substantial amount of money I'm not using. Um, and he just uh, knocks on the boat and opens a... And like a little like chest just rises out of you. It's like... Um, he, and he just starts pulling diamonds out. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you got 50,000 gold pieces worth of gems. Um, and anything you need, just ask. I'm so sorry. 
It's happened. As soon as Ignis is back, start moving the ship. Get us out of here. I will destroy this blockade if I have to. We might have a way out of it. Hold on. And I, I go digging in my pocket for the ambulance. Okay. When I when I got into the city, the Mares locked me in a Gesh spell, but we broke it, and they gave me this. This will give us right a uh, rite of passage. I don't know if they'll honor it now, but it's worth a shot. One sign of trouble, Mia. And I will rip One sign, to blow them all up. I don't care. And then, much like the fucking Kool Aid Man, uh, Ignis <laughs> kicks the door to the caverns open, comes bursting through. Uh, the fuck is Volant? I'm in a much different place than where I was about 20 seconds ago. Viola, let's go. Uh, you can see there's a dead man in the floor in front of you. Uh, you know, like, you realize that no time has really passed here compared to wherever you were before. Um, and Saren is not in a good way. The ship starts moving. What do you do, Nia, before we go back to I Ignis? cut my hand and put, put the <laughs> blood on the sigil like I was told to and raise it up. Okay. This beam fires into the air and the house Mario symbol starts to form. And then you hear, not so clever. And it becomes a smoky skull, which invers and starts flying straight down towards the ship. Uh, Fuck. Move, 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 move. I, I, I move? Can I? No, I'm, so I'm looking at Yako and is saying, this a spell? To the ship. It is a spell and you can both, both the casters can feel it is a very powerful spell. Counter spell. Counter spell was stolen from me. Okay. Um, make an Arcana check, both of you, as you see this thing coming from quite a way up. Okay. Uh, do. Uh, definitely. 33. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, natural 20. <laughs> okay. So you both realize, as it's like, this is not a normal spell. This is a very 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 scary this spell this is what happens when uh multiple cabals of warlocks get together and fuel a single spell uh this breaks the boundaries of ninth level spells and it's coming straight towards your ship what are you willing to sacrifice to stop it uh tell me does it look like it's coming towards me or the ship and it looks like it's coming like, straight it... towards you, yeah. I'll jump off the fucking ship. Okay, this this big no. smoky skull is like 300 foot in diameter. Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I pull out my... <laughs> I still, I say oh, get me oh, off the ship. I ask Orc to throw me through a dimension door. Get me off the ship. I, uh, like, yeah, still... I, I grab Bia. And I mentioned Doras 500 feet away. I still you could make want... it to one of the Marius ships, the closest one. 150. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We make okay. it there, and we're gonna jump off at the last. I'm gonna dimension Doras back at nice. the last possible second. Nice. Yes. I no, I just, I just imagine I grabbed your hand, and I was like, teleport to somewhere different. And what you Can see, you I, to, to further on this, this what we've got with this dimension doors look Nia I grab you and you just see like it looks like everything's being stretched towards us mm. that is the the sea and the ships yeah. rapidly I, just, I hold on I tight scream to out arm. to these two no you can't run forever yeah okay so as you do that you guys fold space you are prepping a counter spell and then you realize how bad this spell is we're gonna get to you you have a moment you're coming up yourself Ignis you step down and this skull moves towards the ship nice. you see it is coming very very quickly but as it passes the front of the ship it's just dust it you see people sort of just like spiraling away into nothing as they unravel uh what are you doing it's about mm, 20 feet from you is this the kind of thing that can break through a wall of force oh god yes it'll just go over <laughs> fucking around it and through it and it's it's effectively uh... a 10th level disintegrate over that much of an area. 
takes a minute to cast. Damn it, I can't do that. I'm gonna give you yeah. ten do seconds. Do you have another dimension door? I do, but I feel like it's just gonna turn around and chase us again. Oh, well, I feel like we could time it to where it's, if it's when it's like ten feet away from us to move. Yeah. We if we really that. want to cut it close. But maybe not teleport back on the younger ship. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna probably Five, teleport us into four. the into an to another ship. That's All right, fine. You jump to another ship. And yes, yeah. it does keep going and following you. Uh as you is crossing a good few hundred feet of water. Spells. Ignis, what are you doing? Do I see where this Maria ship is? The next one yeah yeah you you see that it's about a thousand feet from you but this thing's going to take a few rounds to get there these these guys <laughs> I'm can't not gonna waste time i'm going to use my teleportation ring and i'm ending up on that fucking deck okay what are you doing there you're instantly there so there's no problem as i step and i come out and i am in burning rage at this point wings out <clears throat> stanced up <laughs> And I say, where is the head of the Marius? Uh, Bring them to me now. All, all of the all of the people that just saw their friends get dusted, uh, uh, running and screaming and jumping off the ship, and no, one is just like, he's no, he, he's he's on land outside the city, and then he's just off the ship. Who who is not jumping ship? Uh, and no one. Everyone's just like, fuck this. We don't want to disintegrate. Probably not going to help them. They can't swim okay. that fast, but. All right. Well, then I'm going to turn and I'm going to try and see if I can even so much as try and counterspell this. Go for it. So, uh, this doesn't, this is plus my modifier, right? Is there anything Against else you want level. to, yeah, anything else you want to add to this to help out? Anything you guys have? I still have my inspiration. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. Sure. Have you got anything you want to add to him? Okay. So, um. First off, I, I mean, I can burn a fortune's favor. Uh, high level, higher level fortune's favor. I rolled an eighteen. Yep. Plus five. That's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. And bardic inspiration. That's a 12. Okay. <laughs> so 23 plus 12, 35. 25. That'll do it. That'll do it. So you just see, you sort of, you throw a hand up and just like in this moment of fear and fuck you and anger and everything, it gets to about five feet from you and you thrust a hand out and it sort of stops. And from Ignis, <clears throat> where the wings are, the wings kind of sputter and go out, and then this large fiery version of him just steps up and grabs the skull and sort of just like wrestles it into a ball and puts it out, and then just poof, cinders float away. Fuck you. And I stare at these two. We get back on the ship. Sorry, we should have let you disintegrate then. It was this close to teleporting us a thousand miles away. I, yeah. I had a very, very complicated, weird time dilation. So get back on the ship. We all had a weird time. time dilation. Uh, as, it used to be around Ori. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah the the mass, mass crossbow bolts are just into the air bring us back bring us back to the ship me so with the rod about to grab these two teleport, teleport my all the way back onto the ship one, two, by three, the way four, you guys five. might have noticed there's still some frost <laughs> yeah. still on him after uh after his little endeavor with the krampus okay so can i can i yes. as there as the it, when I would like to go below deck and just like be out of the way because in my mind, uh, Saren doesn't want to see me, even though I heard her say like I'm not angry. I don't believe her. Mm -hmm. So I'm. I just, when they when they bamf back onto the ship, 
they'll just see me disappearing below deck. Okay. Up, 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 up. I keep Ignis. going. But Ignis, Ignis, leave her alone. I words for everyone at a certain point, but then again, I feel like I you, do this all the time. I yeah, look, you can have. I look at the dead body. <laughs> yeah. So you're looking at the dead body. Uh. Saren, you are still being hugged by Yako, um, who's bringing out some uh, diamonds and, and whatnot to allow these uh, spells to be cast easier. Um, do you say anything to Ignis? <laughs> Can you bring him back? I can certainly try. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm... Oof. Cold. What, what spell are you casting? Resurrection. Okay. At level seven. You sit there, gather your energy. You've got the diamonds on the floor from Yako. Everything's been laid out. He, he's been through this before. He knows how to lay everything out to make it work the best. He's not going to wake up feeling very good. I want to, you to know that. The it's okay. Your hands glow. Fire swirls around the tip of your staff. And we'll take a quick break. Back you! Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back it. in a very short amount of time because we haven't got long before some people have to go, which is a shame, but we'll deal with it. Um... And yeah, uh, give us like five minutes tops, I hope. Wave bye, guys. I'm holding the timer. Bye. Be right back. Break. Hey, everybody. We're just checking some rules, how to drink, did the things we need to do. Uh, we are ready to raise some dead. Resurrect. Eh. Um, so you go to cast a spell. <laughs> And as you do it, what would you like to say to... What would you like to treat your goddess with to have this work? I am... I'm going to persuade. Mm -hmm. And in that semblance, I am going to take one of the gold little chink chinks from my uh, waistcoat. And I'm going to pull it off as one of my offerings. As I go to beckon to the soul. And I say... <clears throat> I believe... Someone does not want you to go... She cares and values you very greatly. And while you were on her bow, I see that there is a great deal of love, care, kindness, and ideals to actually help and change the world in your sister. As you're saying this, Sloan, wherever you are, the weapon on your back gets yanked from you, bursts straight through the floor and wall, and impales the ground, just comes out of the ground right next to Amir. And oh, on the on the tip of it now is impaled your gold coin. There's this glowing ghostly shape that shimmers just under the edge of the sword before settling. Saren. You recognize that as a mirror. His soul. Yes, Shelby? Did Nia also see this? Uh, she was watching. Yeah, you probably would, just wouldn't recognize it immediately, like okay. Saren would. Uh, 
have I remembered that thing we talked about? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know that uh, what this weapon does due to your knowledge as a keeper. Okay. Okay. I'll wait for confirmation if this worked or not. Um, I, when, this, can I, when the sword just fucked off, yeet. can I... I <laughs> love that word. Uh, can I just, like, book it back up? You can. Um, Ignis, you immediately feel the spell has failed at, at its first step, uh, with the sword just erupting from the ground and breaking the spell. You see a soul within the blade unable to get out. Like, it was trying to be drawn back, but it could not. I touch the sword. Do I see it? Uh, make a wisdom save. <laughs> The plus four, uh, 14, 18. Okay. Uh, you don't take damage, but you will feel several thousand screaming beings trapped inside it. When I Ignis touches the sword, funny. can I like gently move you away from it? I'm not being aggressive, I'm being cautious. I, uh, in in staring at you, you can see that there is a few levels to this little interaction. I'm like, like trying to ignore the thousands of screams. I will be okay. No, don't me. touch it. Sarah, what are you doing right now? Just give me time. I think probably she's just staring in shock at the weapon as she just saw like her brother in it. And then she looks over to Sloane because can't mistake those pounding footsteps. Um, and she's just, what is this weapon? Very dangerous. Do I do I understand that the that it's his soul trying to come out? Like, do I am I connected enough with the sword, even though I'm not magical, to know that it's his soul that's trying to come out? Uh, yeah, you've had a little bit of a discussion with the creature in the blade um, mm -hmm. to know that where the soul is, and you can realize it's trying to come out. You also know how to get yep. in, should you need to get into it. Would I know that if I go in there, I could potentially get it out? Um, another option. You'd have to go and, like, the way you go in, you go directly to, like, the throne room in, in right. this layer of the abyss that is the sword. Um, so you're in the best possible position to get one out, I would say. Uh, it's a matter of making a doorway so others can follow you, I guess. Which would require significant power from other people. I mean, at, at this point, I'm... If I know that I can... There's a way that I can get in there to get that soul. The guilt that I'm feeling right now is enough to make me go in there without even telling anybody that's where I'm going. Just to go in, get it, and get out. Hopefully. You're in the middle of the water right now. So I don't know how you're going to get anywhere where you can. Because do you remember what you need to do to open that door? This is the part where you start talking. Yeah, start, start talking to Saren about this. <laughs> Tell her, not me. I... Nova, I have a question. Can I sever the link that is dragging the soul into the sword? No, the, the soul's in the sword. It's so. Can I sever that link? No, the not from outside. Is, you have to get inside to do that. Yeah, the the sword is literally just a layer of the abyss. The soul is in the abyss. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. Uh, so. Saren, and Sloane. You were talking.
I can get it out. Oh. But I have to do more of what I did to get in there to get it out. There could be another way. What? There has been a lot in all of your past. And I know that a lot of what has happened between you all is involving this weapon. I would like to know everything that everyone knows about this weapon right now before we make a decision of what to do next. And I want to know everything. Do I know where the sword came from? How it came to be in the Keeper's possessions? Uh, not all of it. Just that, that it, you... The battle around how it got there isn't told. Uh, it was taken from someone, somewhere, and you had it. Um, that's mostly it. You know that it has got something really powerful, really bad, and it can corrupt the wielder. That sword was an artifact that was being held in Vecklerung before Sloane got it. We don't really know where it came from. All we know is that it's got something powerful in it and it corrupts the wielder. It makes me feel powerful. All it right. also it also takes every soul it slays. Alright. It's also a condensed layer of the abyss. See? It took my heart once. Well, the thing that is inside took it. And Slum was struggling to drop it before. I don't know what kind of link she's made with it. I have a question for all of you. And I'm looking at Salon. Do you know anything about the Mad King? Do I? He's a god of industry and greed. Yeah, what about him? Upon my communion, giving answers, I had received one piece of information that had pertained to you, Sloan. Apparently, what is it? from what I was told, this mad king, he plagues you as much as he plagues my father. Apparently, whatever it is that he is, not only has he taken the fire plane, but he has taken the king of that plane, I suppose. which I imagine makes me a prince. I don't know. But she told me he hurts you. Does this sword hurt you? It hurts me because it makes me hurt my friends. Hurts my friends. This was the answer I wanted to tell you before, but I did not know the outcome like this. And I am so sorry. But we have to help someone. We have to help someone in order to help one of our friends now. And if we do, You really want to stop letting it hurt us. I can help you break that link. Walk away from it. 
You don't need strength from this. He points towards your where your heart should be. The strength goes there. And I will help you bring it back if you want me to. I don't want this anymore. So please help. I will help you. So we are not going to do the option of killing more. Because I know and I can see that you hate that Sloan. And I would never ask you to do this, not even for my brother. And I especially would never do that for him because I know that he would never want that. But if you want him back, I will do it for you. Because no, I know. I look to Nia. I what look at Mel. Is there anything maybe you could do? Maybe. You've, you've had a chance to look at it. He'll be hard. I'll help however I can. It's not... We need materials, we need time, we need... We got a buttfuck of diamonds. I think that will help. Do you know what not materials we really. need? Damn. I'll have to check my... I have to check my tome. Search through what runes are needed to make him break. And this can't be just destroyed has to be reforged to lessen the link possibly get a doorway into it but we're talking hours and hours and this city is tearing itself apart i don't and oh yeah as he turns around what the hell is this <laughs> and also there's still ships coming after you firing bolts at you yeah dark star uh, how how ignis how long after someone dies can you resurrect them um, well, if they're not dead past a the century. Then can we preserve his body? Is there anything um, we can do to preserve well, him? Well, actually, we don't really need to preserve his body. We just need the body. The other thing you might want to consider from... Yako and I have done some talking about planar travel and a few other things. I <clears throat> could potentially do that. I <laughs> The lower planes, they have a unique issue. Yeah. It might have only been minutes up here. He's been in there for years. Uh, He's not enjoying whatever has happened to him in there. And uh, We have to do something. We, we can't just let him stay. If first, let's get out of here. This is going to take time because I don't want to deal with a dangerous procedure on this weapon, but we don't have time to talk about this now. We need to get out, so let's focus on this. And sadly, my brother will just have to wait. That's just how it goes. You know, we can hit two birds with one stone. Or one Sloan, as the case may be. We need to get out of here. And we have enemies in our way. If there's killing to do, we just need a delivery system. And he looks towards both uh, Ignis and Auric. Can you get her from boat to boat? I don't know how many times I can left, but... Um, how many so boats would it take? Sloan, how many did the creature say it would take to to open a door or talk to him or whatever you have to do how heavy are you sloan very <laughs> give me an exact number sloan is a brick house yeah I'm, that, I'm, that's I'm your she's a brick shit house but i need to know she's got like, probably like 200 to 250 yeah, pounds least, yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, okay, so I might. No, have I don't remember what, It was. Remember it was what like. You, said. you know. Is it a thousand? I think it was like a hundred. A hundred. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, then I'll, yeah, I'll answer you. Uh, 
to, I'll answer to now. About a hundred. Well, <clears throat> some of these are war galleys. It'll take 50 to 60 men. Others are bigger. Two, three ships should be fine. How many ships are there? It's like 30. Does killing near you help? I think I have to be the one to do it. Damn. I <laughs> I could take a whole ship down myself. Oh. I mean, you could still do that. I oh, might be able to assist down. with Don't that. Don't worry, I will assist you greatly as soon as I figure out how much I could lift. He runs off for a moment, leaving you guys to talk. If there's anything you want to say, now's the time, because he's got an idea. I'm just uh, going to... Go kneel next to Saren. I'll kneel oh, down yeah. in front of in front of Saren, uh, like opposite sides of the mirror's body, and I'll look her straight in the eye. And you asked me not to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to do everything that I can to get his soul back and fix that promise. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's not to be. It's not, but it's going to be. I will get to that. Slim. Are you still a little monster? wary of still a little wary of you because you called me a monster. Yeah. I said it so was I've turning kinda... you into a monster. And Specifically, she I said it monster. turned you into one. Yeah. Just say still heard monster. Specific... Yeah. Uh I I will I'll like kind of like I'll turn my head towards you, but I'm not looking at you. Yeah, Tamil no, I'm, comes I'm back looking at this time at... as well. Is this like you want to say right now or you get because he's he'll stop as you like turn to speak and he's like I uh, was just trying to ask if it's only Sloan that can go into the sword. That's all she was trying to ask. <clears throat> it is better that I do. I you shouldn't so. go into the abyss alone. I need to make it right. Okay. And I will not put any of you in danger. Okay, so Tamel walks up. To, I have uh, <clears throat> uh, a way to link you all. It might help with the Killing? Um, this is gonna hurt though, Sloan. Are you okay with that? Yes. Give me your hand. And he takes a knife and he carves in the back of your hand a runic symbol of brotherhood. And he gives everyone a talisman. Uh, if you are within 30 feet of Sloan, and what you kill is within 30 feet of her as well. It should help <clears throat> soul power or weapon. Uh, this is temporary. It's going to burn out in like an hour, but he's modified like a, a, a effectively a bunch of communication uh, amulets to let you talk to each other telepathically. Um, to have like an aura of soul suck. So, uh, look, if there, if there is a way in, you've got two people to go in, you're going to need a hell of a lot of firepower to keep the connection open. So, I guess that's your job, Auric and Ignis. Bob, Yako, and I will defend the ship. So just choose a target and go, but you've got to be fast. Let's do it. And uh, uh, he approaches Sloan. Do I have permission to pick you up? If I can. Can you pick me up? I can certainly try. Otherwise, how many more dimension doors have you got left, uh, Auric? That's a not very many sites. Well, it's just that I, <laughs> That's I'm, not why looking, I'm flying. I'm just, just not looking forward to landing in the abyss with zero spell slots. Mm. No, like, Saren's <clears throat> going to stand up and be like, I'm going to go with Sloan. I'm going to help with this. 
and I'm going to go with you to the abyss to get my brother. Same here. I promise I would help. I will help. So I was like, uh, look, it's good you all want to help, but someone's going to have to defend her yeah. as she does this. There's going to need to be someone. I'll do it. Oh. You all need to stay out here. Uh, and now larger and larger blister bolts getting closer and you can see on a, another ship someone's wheeling for this very weird contraption with a big green glowing gem in the center and like cranking sync right. on the side the arc going. lightning is just like bouncing we need off. to make a decision now all right we need to be going that thing needs to go out first yeah i'm all going right. with sloan to the abyss you all are staying here to deal with this and protect her i am taking no off argument. with sloan so <laughs> okay or I can teleport me. Oh, I'm, I'm just so, saying. So uh, okay. I need to make a strength check with disadvantage. Okay. I'll think I... light thoughts. So okay. you can go with them, Nia. Just someone needs to defend her and them in close quarters. Yeah, no, that's what Nia was saying she would do. Cool. Thank <laughs> she you. would yeah. be the one to defend them. Okay. So my first roll is a 15 uh, applied with strength. Uh, now with disadvantage. That one's going to be a 14. Oh. Okay, that's that's enough to get them across the water. Not not neatly. Your toes get a bit wet, yeah. but you get across. Yeah, it's just... Um, <gasps> make a yeah, dexterity no, saving are... throw, please, though. Okay. I'm actually really As... good at that. Uh, uh, 18? Okay, that is the DC. As this guy gets into like the turret of this weapon and points towards you, and this gout of green flame comes out uh about a hundred foot long and 25 feet wide and it just boils away a like a, a ditch in the ocean that as it comes in the water is so hot it just keeps steaming for a second and manages to keep the water in that shape for just a moment for it in if you'd been hit by this you would be hurt if not dead um you get past it you land on the deck auric i imagine you, that's acid Nope. Uh, you, oh. for those who have traded with the dwarves before, this is a thing called Abyssium, and it uh, completely, it's effectively um, nuclear fire. So anyways, mm -hmm. um, the Auric, you arrive on the other deck. You're all there. Sloan. Mm. Gonna start killing? All right. Yeah. I do the same. Yeah. Go push uh, out. Go push right. out. And I am immediately starting with Wall of Fire to kill as many people in two different lines in front of me. All right, so he's he's made a effectively a corridor. Where everyone was on the sides of the ship, like nope. manning the guns. <laughs> and you've got straight down the center, leave. Sloan, <laughs> where there's first mate, the captain. Um, one of them pulls a, a you know very ornate flintlock pistol you don't see these things very often these are very very rare weapons um you can make three attacks for me right now this uh combat is more for show because i just realized how many hit points these guys have and how much <laughs> you can kill things so but we'll see oh that's bad uh, it's a 13. That hits. Remember, they're on boats. Ah. No one's wearing armor. That's how you drown. And you don't want to drown. That was a journey. <laughs> uh, 16. Hits. For the first one. No, uh, 16 points of damage. Oh, okay. Also, don't forget, you can recklessly attack and just swing, swing. Swing, swing. Okay. Okay, that's better. That's a 26. Yep. They have 10 hit points each. They're dead. Don't roll for damage. All right. <laughs> ah, roll for damage. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That'll hit. That's a uh, 19. Nope, 21. Yep. So you run through and one guy steps up and raises a weapon up to slash at you and you just go straight through the cross guard through his hand into his chest and he Oop. just it opens up in front of you. You dance around him and you stab the uh first mate in the stomach and then just fling him into the wall of fire and he just flies through it bouncing out the other side on fire into someone else burning them 
you then jump up to where the wheel thing of the boat is. I don't know what boats. You jump up there on the ship uh, and you swing the helm? the helm. That's what you wear in your head. No. Um, <laughs> English Throw them words. into the firewalls. Uh, and as you It'll bring this blade, damage. as you bring this blade down right. from shoulder, she was right. Uh, as you bring down the blade from the shoulder, you cut straight through uh, the captain and you shatter the helm. The hell yeah. Circle with spikes. Um, so the boat can't. Hell! S- <laughs> That's a hat. Uh, and you. <laughs> it's all a hat. Uh, and you, yeah, just completely destroy it. This boat can't go anywhere. It's just now going straight. Even if the weapons uh, were pointed in the right direction, eventually they will just not be able to hit anything. Um, Auric, there's another boat about 30 feet off to the side if you want to target something else. Sink it. Sink it, sink it, sink it, sink it, sink it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Oric Oric is Oric is mad. Uh not at this ship, although I do hate the Marios. Um <laughs> but I would imagine Oric is just walking up the side of the ship, and I just want this to be very casual and cool, and I just want to squeeze my hand and I want the center of the ship to rip apart as a gravity sinkhole just rips the entire center of the ship apart, sinking it and killing everyone on board. Hell yeah. Holy shit, okay. To the other ship that's <laughs> coming past? You said that so the ship? Yes. <laughs> so Whatever ship is closest and is a danger and will get Sloan kill points. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know the Pirates of the Caribbean scene where they're walking, the guy's walking down yep. the thing? As yeah. 100%. It's the opposite yes. of that, but you're Good walking business. off to the side, right? And you just it's raise just a hand out. Business. And you just hold your oh, hand and yeah. the center explodes out as where there was nothing like there is something to a black hole. It, it creates some sort of space. Poof, poof, and gets sucked in. And the whole thing just like crumples and like almost folds in half. And anyone that is on the ship gets sucked in as it lifts up. The water in the area starts to like swirl up around it. And you can see the ship you're on, along with some other ships, start like turning slowly towards it. Uh, you might want to get off the ship you're on. <laughs> I think that makes my kill count in the hundreds. Because <laughs> <laughs> all these ships go into the Still only whirlpool. counts as one. Rookie numbers. Uh, <coughs> oh, we talking- Do you want to give in yeah. to the bloodlust to get your kill count up? Because you're still not quite there. Yeah. Okay. You're on the back of the ship. You look out towards the front. Yako ship. Look out towards the back. About 20 feet away. Uh, looking to ram the one you're on, seeing everyone die, is a ship coming in fast. Do you want to jump from one to the next? I was literally, yes. As soon as you were saying that, I want to run and like off the bow of the ship, just just screaming, raging ball of barbarian. Okay. (laughs) Uh, All right. Can I get all, all the... Powerpuff Girls to go jumping off the back of the ship together because you're meant to be sticking together, melee folks. Or Puff Girls. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone. So I, I'm very confused. Are we all on this ship? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you were teleported there. So can I get everyone that wants to go with her to make an acrobatics or athletics check? Your choice. Uh, Do you need me to roll two? Yep. Who, acrobatics, who wants, me, please. Who wants me to take them into the air? Ew. Who wants to be the one? You I'm a very weak boy. Or you're take or I'm just fine. Just a second. Because I imagine you're going to blow up a ship in a minute. Oh um, yeah, no, that's <laughs> that was it, always going to happen. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Does this does Indomitable fix this? I think Indomitable just saves, but you can use a hero point. God damn it! No, I di- I can't because I used my hero point to get that information. I already used it. Ah uh, yeah. Remember, um, so Nia's in the water. It's fine. She'll be fine. Okay. She's a she's a strong swimmer. So, what did you get, Kelsey? Twenty-three. Twenty-three and Shannon. 26. Cool. So you, Jesus, 26, you jump and because the boat's passing while you're passing the other, your jump takes you clean over the front of the boat. You see it plow into the back of the boat that you were on and you, if you want to make a single attack, you can apply the damage of three attacks to it and you can attack the mast and just chop straight through it and crush like, you know, the top deck. Yes, please. 
and uh, I, reckless. Do I rage? Yeah. I feel like I, I feel like the I, jumping I was, was raging. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Bridge jumping. All right, that is uh 27. Okay, you've hit the boat. Con- congratulations. Uh Ooh. roll roll your damage out for me. So it's 3 Yeah, I got 3 12. Sorry, I'll shut up. Can't you re-roll once? Oh. Uh, you can. can I re-roll once? Yeah, because you mm-hmm. fired attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's my first one. <laughs> Do so I have to keep the one if I re-roll another one? Yeah. Fuck. Do you? Eleven. It just says you re-roll so. ones or twos. It doesn't say you have to keep the second roll. It just says you re-roll ones or twos. You can never roll a one or a two. I'm pretty sure. Re-roll. It's all right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Three. Yeah. So One, two, three. thirteen. Um, oh, I guess somebody's getting, getting the bad dice today. Is that just your dice rolls though? Goes to thirteen. Oh, yep. Because uh, you've got thirteen plus twelve. No, be plus fifteen. Plus a lot because I said you can roll. You can add everything. Oh, so you've got three sets of rage too. attacks, three sets of great weapon master, three sets of um, your strength modifier. So that goes so, thirteen so plus twelve plus nine plus thirty. What? Do, do I do it? Do I cut through the mass? Yeah, you cut through the mass. Great. <laughs> so you pretty much cut through it, shoulder barge the way down, and everyone's on the side pointing their blisters out towards Yako's boat. This mass just boof, crushes it, collapses a chunk of the side of the boat, which falls into the water. You roll, stand up, uh, and just slash through the front of someone. Uh, Sarah's a bit more graceful. The captain's just <laughs> sitting there like, what the fuck? And then you can just <laughs> land and roll up rapier straight out, make one attack, and see if you can just yeah. destroy someone. I also someone. have a question. Do they have, like, one of those big ballistas or, like, one of the big cannons with the green gem? No. No, These they don't? Stay. Damn it. I want to do something if we end up on one of those ships. Uh, that's a t- 29. You're dead. Because you're about to sneak attack him, and I know what you do, you broken fucking broke. <laughs> 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 uh, so... Pretty much, as he's like, what the fuck? He turns back to you, the blade just goes straight into his mouth, out the top of his head, and he just drops dead. Um, you you jump down there and start hacking to anyone that's trying to flank Sloan. Ignis, I'm give you the choice here. You can catch a falling Nia, or you can just blow up a ship by yourself. <laughs> Which one's more important? Nia, obviously. I'm <laughs> saying Nia's a strong swimmer. She's fine. <laughs> Oh, this is, is this is this is the okay? sea that's being sucked into a black hole. Eh, strong sea is not going to count. You Everything's sure? fine. <laughs> yes, Have I will climb s- up this ship. I want everyone to remember that she said it's fine, and I want everyone to also remember the worst thing for any adventurer is water. Um, okay, so if you yell, "I'm fine," it's up to you, Ignis, what you want to do. If she hits the water, then yeah, she's just going to say, "I'm fine." Keep Wait, going. So I'm up in the air right now, right? Yep, yeah. and as she's falling, she's like, I'm fine. <laughs> she's specifically saying, I'm I... fine, keep going. I okay. can get myself out I of have... this. So I have a quick question. Is is one of these ships like the ones with those grates that are like open so that way they can lift things up and down? So yeah, the there'd be a few like ships that have like cargo bits as well, yeah. I want to go down into one of the center of these. So you're flying and just <laughs> straight through the top? Yeah, I... Go straight to the top, like almost coming down, almost angelic like with these fiery wings as these people are like staring at me. They gotta be shooting and at you, I, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> they can certainly try, and I say, Oh, hello there. And I tap the staff in the ground and I'm going to cast fireball. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the center is me, because it doesn't matter. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Uh, that look on fucking Kyle's face. That long suffering stare. Yep. Make yourself a just just roll damage because the ship can't dodge with the decks. So uh, fine. yeah, no, it, it's uh oh, that's a level six fireball. It's eleven D six. <laughs> so let me uh count them off. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, ten. 11. And keep in mind, all ones are twos. 
Yep. All right. So two, four, six, eight. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Ten, twelve. Uh, fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-three. Yes, sir. I mean, fire. 23, and then uh, 23, uh, uh, 35. 35? Yep, 35 yeah. points of fire. Congratulations, you've met the DC to break the hull of the ship. Um, <laughs> and as it explodes, do I still see Nia in the water at that point? <laughs> no, nah, you're kind of like in fire. You won't see it until next turn. However, yeah. Sloan, <laughs> as you raise your weapon up to attack someone your vision I am a goes god. red there it is i am a burning god right now no one but sloan <laughs> greetings mortal i am so glad you have come to me once again fine work you are doing what do you I want to, to I want to ask for a trade. Trade? Interesting. What do you wish to trade? My soul for a mirror's. Done. You will be my vessel. You will do exactly as I ask, when I ask, if you do not. Every time you fail, I will take a piece from one of your friends. As a reminder of your promise to me, do you understand? I understand. Do as I say. Follow where I lead. <sighs> we will rewrite this world. We will make sure it survives. And I promise I will do all in my power to protect your frail friend Auric. I promise. Come to me, my red queen. And he holds out a hand. I step forward and take it. Saren, on the outside, her blade is glowing red and she is killing things. Do you wish to try to find a way inside? She hasn't tried to open the door, but you might be able to get in. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, like, Saren is just like, when does the door open? Shit! And, like, if everything's just red, I don't know. I might. Well, everything's red for her, not for you. No, I know, but, like, her weapon is red. Yeah. But, like, I might try to touch her weapon, try to, like, get in through there. Just with the so. flat of your hand? Or with just... your sword? Or what? Um, no, pro she has she's a dual wielder, so probably like connecting with her sword. So she's probably like that thing's like a god thing. She's going to take her lightning sword, which is also a shard of a god, and just kind of like, like, she's in this energy of adrenaline and just all these emotions. She just like slashes down to connect like Sloane's weapon to try to force her way in. Okay. You all see Saren scream and her back arcs as the lightning that is usually blue goes red and shocks through her. It then arcs out and every single person on the boat that is not Saren or Sloan is hit by a lightning bolt and just drops dead. Saren. You appear in this throne room as Sloan takes the hand of this God, 
He's got this big grin on his face. What? Ah, my queen, sit. And a second small throne appears. I will keep you safe. We will make sure nothing harms you. Someone is using the spirit of one of my old friends. And then you both can now see Saren has stepped in as he sort of like placed you on this second smaller throne next to him. Am I too big for it? <laughs> no. Like he's like, he's big. So like it's, it's made to be smaller than his, but it's like a, a two person lounge even for you. Okay. Okay. What is this? One second, I guess. Just for a mirror. What did you do? What I had to do. What did you do? A mirror's okay. soul appears right before you. Is this what you wanted? It was for her, was it not? Take it, sir. No. Take it. I'm going to leave here with my brother and with you. I'm not leaving you here. I don't think Thank you it, quite Sarah. understand the situation, sir. This is not a... takeover. It's a partnership. We will both be in control. She will speak. She will think. She will feel. But she will follow my commands. And what are your commands? To save this world. I'm gonna insight check. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. Yeah. It's not like you're talking to a murder god. Ooh, that's, that, that's pretty nice. That, that, that's nice. Mm. It's nice. It's a, it's a flat 20. <laughs> Let me see if you can. Being a murder god, he is hard to read. But <laughs> yeah. he has more plans than just saving people. That's not the end of this all. I know people like you, even people. if you say that you're going to save this. You know nothing like me. Sarah, people. just go. I am a no. god, you little filthy mortal. You little filthy mortal. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he snaps his fingers and two demons appear and they sling flesh hooks into your brother. Would you like to continue? Saren, go. I am in charge here. I just I traded my soul. That expands beyond this place. I see everything, everywhere. You have such a narrow view. With your rights and your wrongs. You will not save anyone if you cannot move past your blindness. We have made a deal. Whether you like it or not. Get out of this place. Or stay forever. I have been... Generous. Sloan came here wanting something so badly. I could have gained more than what I have. You may think me something despicable. But you are an aunt to me. And I care not for the thoughts of ants. Mm -hmm. And you say, uh-huh, you're on the deck. Ha! <laughs> Am I on the deck? You are not on the deck right now. Your body's still okay. moving and fighting. You're just not on the deck. Okay. I just turn around and I banshee scream to shatter like the ship. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, I banshee scream. To... Oh, shit. Uh, yep, okay. Uh, that's not going to require a roll. That ship's just... Fucked. Uh, <laughs> because your weapon does that. Also, Sloane, by giving yourself completely into the weapon, you have now unlocked the final layer of said weapon. I'll send you that in a little bit. Um, so, there's a from the uh, Yaku ship. 
and it's just like moving away <laughs> from this dark star as fast as possible um but uh if anyone looks that way you see a mirror standing up looking very confused who would like to head back to the ship i mean i'm in the water so yep you're gonna have to make some checks i'll get nia <laughs> <laughs> I have a backup plan if this fails, and I think a pretty airtight one. I have ancient doors left. Not a lot. Nia, make yourself focus on getting. Make make yourself an athletics check at disadvantage, please. Athletics? I can't argue for acrobatics. Swimming? No, it's athletics. Damn it! That's true. Swimming's pretty firmly. I think it's actually one of the examples under athletics. (laughs) Well, shit, that's not supposed to be at advantage, but that's a six. Okay. Uh, 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 nope. Nope. Version future. You have to be able to see it first, right? <laughs> I'm in yeah, the water. Probably. Yeah, you can't see it right now. You, you. Yeah, no. I have, so- I have a backup. Okay. If I can't make let's, my checks, if I start drowning, me. I have a backup. So, problem isn't so much the drowning at the moment because you can stay, you can float, right? Like you've, you've trained, you've been swimming for, you've been on boats a lot. That's not the issue. The issue is more that. There's a bunch of boats moving, and there's a fucking black hole in the water, and you're gonna that get black hole doesn't stay there. Oh, bro, you can turn it off whenever you wish, uh, or is it? Just oh, it goes away right away. Okay, cool. So it's, that's it's, fine. It's a one action thing. There's still. A... Okay. I mean, the whirlpool would still be created. There's still a bunch of current smacking you against the boats, so uh, you're going to take a bunch of damage. Actually, I'll roll this so you can see it on the um, foundry, because you're the only person on the foundry, I believe. Uh, yep. Bu- 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 so that's bu- the bu- only bu- way bu- I can roll dice because I can't find my dice bag. Man, guys. I wish Ignis was a part of this conversation to come and fly in and save you. Yeah, but... this is all happening or you can let me thing. save my fucking character, please. I right, have a thing does... I want to do. I could have saved you. That's the thing. I'm I I haven't yeah, been able to do anything. Shelby, nah. We're gonna keep going. Twenty-eight points of bludgeoning damage as you could have hey, like get it. thrown into the side of the boat. It is now going to be if I remember the way I was doing this, uh, it'll be near then Yarrow, uh, Ignis. So, uh, how are you going to try to save yourself right now? I want you to tell me just how fucking hopeless does it look like down here? Does it look like I either need to magically get up or die? Does that I mean, look like it's my if there, if If everyone stops fighting, um, you can, and if someone starts looking for you, it's not going to be too bad. The problem is everyone's not looking at you at the moment. Okay, then I'm going to do this. I want to take out the coin Sam gave me and stab my hand. Okay. He told me to use it if I was in grave danger. I'm more concerned with Sloane doing her shit. I don't want to take people's eyes away from that. Okay. Nothing happened straight away. He said he'd come that's... help, but it's not going to happen like straight away. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I'm just going to try and uh, hold out. If I can get onto a boat, I will try. Okay. But right now, I'm, I called for help. That's what I did. Uh, she doesn't need to call for help. Well, oh wait, no, I dropped concentration. I, I call. Ago. Yeah. Well, no, I. But calling for help was me cutting my hand and okay and using the oh, to for help. Oh. Rising out of the wreckage of a fucking flaming boat is Ignis, who sees Nia stab herself in the hand. Uh, and she's like bleeding from the head as she's been hit by she's like been thrown against the side of a boat and then rolled down the side of it thankfully not under it um if you want to help her you can uh of course wings still out yep bolt directly towards her and then just grab her by the the scruff of her shirt and just choke me. fly straight up yep just make a quick old strength check for me or athletics. Oh, I don't mind which. If you happen to have proficiency in one. Uh, uh, let's see. Which one did, Which one do I have proficiency in? I'm pulling out the good dice for well, You won't have proficiency in strength, but you know, if you do happen to have proficiency uh, in athletics. Let's see. Oh, I have acrobatics. No. Okay, so uh it's gonna be a strength strength check. Uh fourteen? Yep, okay. Uh, you managed to tiny. lift her up and get her onto the boat, yeah. uh, onto Yaku's boat, and <sighs> you are soaking wet. Press the digitation and just dry her off. Get, get off me! No, you are absolutely soaking. 
<laughs> for the rest of you. And I'm just like holding her out like at a distance. It's like you're freezing my hands. It's freezing. Well, then let me go. <laughs> well, as soon as we get there, I will. Present education. Okay, Boric. Yes. Would you like to get the rest of them back to the boat since that is definitely within your wheelhouse? Let me make sure I can. Two, I need two each. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's not true, actually. No, I, I can cast just normal teleport. Okay. I can get them. Yes, I can get them. Okay. But I almost couldn't. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Uh, you can cast normal teleport? It's the only way I can get both of them, because I don't have enough check. for for um, uh, dimension doors. I only have three dimension doors right now. I can only take one with me, so I have to use one to get... Oh, wait, one wait, to get... One to, one oh, no, to I do have enough. Do I do yeah, have yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. actually. I just miscalculated that in my head. Yeah. One to get I, there, I've... then back. One to get back. Then one to get to the next yeah, one, one to get two. back. That's four. No, 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 because no, no, no. if I... Because I'm... He's... Your where am I, actually? I don't know where I am. Ignis grabbed me at one point. We never resolved that. Yeah, you are on... Uh, the first <laughs> ship with the, with the flaming thing. No. He should be on the same okay. ship as us because Ignis grabbed Oric and brought him to the same ship as us. Okay. Nia failed, failed jumping speed over. to save her and then bring her back over. Oh, that's right, yeah, because Nia failed. Nia failed, that's why. Yeah, and then Ignis went to go get her. So Oric is on the ship with us. Okay, no worries. So then it's just a matter of one, two, three. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I was hoping for this uh, cool little... You know, wild magic surge just to close nope. the session out. <laughs> had enough. And stuff, but... No, you don't get any more. <laughs> no, I, I will not do that. I will so, dimension door. Just to make this nice and quick, just, just a <laughs> poof, 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 and you're <laughs> done, and everyone's a little bit disorientated, disoriented. Um, and Sloane kind of comes to is, you know, you don't attack everyone on your boat. You had rules, they stand. That rage sort of subsides. I'm just going to send you the rules for these things as you all start gathering around. Um, and Amir is looking a little bit tired. He's laying down in a corner, like eyes closed, exhausted. The resurrection spell was just waiting for his soul to be free. Mm -hmm. I just slam my swords down on the deck of the ship. And then... What happened? She made a deal with it. What? It was the Sloan. only way to make it right. No, Sloan. This doesn't make it right. Sloan. It does for me. How can you fight it then? You're not the one that chooses what makes it right, Sloan. You are making it right for me. And this doesn't make it right. This was a mistake. I wasn't mad at you before, but now I am mad. I didn't want this for you. I didn't want some big punishment for you. I didn't want you to get stuck with your fucking dickhead of an abuser god. Please don't yell at me. Your brother is back. That's all that matters. No, you matter and too, Sloan. You matter. Yes. I'm you just gonna go up. over to my brother. You promised me that we were going to do this together. Okay. I know that Sean and Shannon need to go. I feel like we could <clears throat> say that Auric puts his arm around Sloane and guides her down to her bunk to let her rest because you would be very tired. You've just allowed a god to pretty much Jesus take the wheel sort of thing um, <laughs> and might need 
a, 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 a rest. Um, I think so. So I just sent you your weapon. The pit, the the, the bit Jeez, is wow. you had you wow, you, you had it up to awaken. So now you have ascendant. So it's now a plus three to attack and damage rolls. Yeah. Uh, you can read the rest out if you want to. Yeah. Bonus action to transform into a werebear hybrid, causing the Kopesh to deal an extra 2d6 damage to any target hit, and the AC bonus granted by the weapon increases by 1 plus 2. Oh, and my crits are on a 19 and 20. Oh, nice. It's nice to be a war god. <laughs> um, on top of that, you can kind of see in pulses of red people's emotional states when they move towards bloodlust and anger. Interesting. Do I right. see my own? No. Cool. <laughs> uh, right. So, before we... We'll just take a quick second to say goodbye to Sean and Shannon. Have a lot of fun at PAX. Uh, you okay. guys can... If you want to make it easy for us, just like leave the camera on so that we don't have to mess around with all the video. Maybe just put sure. the laptop in the corner, mute yourself. and well, I could also... Gotta... I, have a, I have a little cover. Ah, oh, look at that. And then now. Oops. Your, your laptop will probably like go dead at some point and then it's fine. <laughs> um It was it was great having you. We'll see Sean next yeah. week for the interlude. Shannon. Yay. That was some badassery shit you just pulled. I liked it. I liked it. See by the Sloan until next season. I'm so worried for Sloan, Shannon. I am um, so concerned. She'll be for fine. No, she'll she won't. Be fine. As, she'll lie know. to me. Can you guys just put your favorite moments in our Discord chat when you're when you're done, just so I can see them? I know yeah. this was a little bit snappy for everyone. I just they had they meant to leave at eleven. It's now eleven thirty-five. I was trying to get them finished up. So I'm sorry to people that feel like they the session was a bit railroaded to this point, or that things that they wanted to do was skipped. I just I had a time crunch here. Um, all right, bye bye guys. Great having you. Have fun. Bye. Talk later. We love you. Oh, and Shannon won a prize. She's getting a young collector. Oh yay! Uh, a young adventures collection. Uh. I didn't announce it last weekend during the um, uh, giveaway, but Are you have that. Yeah, you won the Young Adventurous Collection, so I just need to... Oh, yay! Of course Shannon did. Of course Shannon did. And, Out of uh, everybody that could have won it. It's the teacher that wins it, so you're going to go yeah, have fun teaching perfect. kids D&D. &D. Yay! Uh, Alright, that's it. Bye again. Awesome. Bye! Bye, Sean. Bye, Shannon. Have fun at PAX. Alrighty. So, they are below deck um we have not too long left of session is there anything you want to say to your very very sleepy brother who just has like his his armor is still ripped apart and he's just got like a thin scar down his chest where he was impaled i'm just going to fall to my knees and hug him really tight and i just say I'm so sorry, you fucking idiot. I'm sorry, too. He just, like, leans, puts his head on your shoulder. He sees, like, just no strength at the moment. He has just woken from the dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Negative four. Uh, exhaustion. Because resurrection. Mm -hmm. He's gonna need to sleep. He'll hold my brother. No. Bro, brother. <laughs> Is there a bed so we can we can go to um, tires? Yeah, I. Yako. Is somewhere for him to rest. Uh, yeah. Don't 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 worry. Uh, I'll have food and drinks sent to your room where he can sleep and you can um <clears throat> you can the lie. hardest liquor oh i yeah. i have that bless you <sighs> uh tamel could you do the us a favor and he just sort of scoops up amir and just takes him in and then yako is like are you are you okay i was worried it's um not nice. <clears throat> not used to that. <laughs> not 
used to the dead, not used to me yelling like that, or not used to worrying about people. Yeah, everything. <laughs> There's a lot with this group. And... I know. I yeah. Know. I'm... <laughs> going to have to deal with a lot and talk with them. I don't really know if I am okay. There's a lot that just happened. So I don't really know how I am right now. At least I'm standing. So. He wraps his arms around you. A big squeeze. He hug. He's going to kiss you on the head and then point to his cabin. It's like, uh, top shelf. Good spirits. At least a hundred years old. Go nuts. Friggin' I. <laughs> this is Saren. She's just going to like kiss him right on the mouth after everything. Just. Yeah, he'll return that. Thanks. Puts his arms around you. <laughs> um, and Bob's like. Ooh, did anyone <laughs> see the dead man stand up? <laughs> Can I just go over and That's my him? fault, sorry. Ignis, I need to pray. Can you come with me? You're, you're priest, right? For the next hour, I am not. I need a drink. Oh, I'm a bartender, so I can help for the next hour. I can help you with that. But then... Let's yeah, go, we'll, buddy. We'll pray. We'll, we'll, we'll pray. We'll pray. We'll drink. We'll pray. We'll drink. He puts his arm around you and he takes you off as well. Um, Joining Saren for that, for the alcohol cabinet that I've been hearing so much about. Friggin, that you're leaves. also going to get a hug because you brought my brother back, technically. Oh. Oh. So. Um, so. Well, no, no, what? Let's talk with a drink. Like, I have feelings that I need to discuss. Bob goes to the other side of the desk. Shake, shake. Nia, you're dry, yes? Well, Nia and Yako sit on the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it, she's... <laughs> I imagine she's... we're all, like, three of us are going uh, away from the deck, so that was yeah. just me. No, no, Nia's but... staying up top. She doesn't have yeah. any so reason So the door closes, follow. and he just sort of, like, taps the deck, and you see this as it locks. Um... Just looks to you. Are we able to trust you? Should I throw you off the boat right now? Ken, I know you don't like this, Nova, but I am genuinely conflicted as a player. Can I let a d20 decide what I say to Yako? Because I have two separate things I want to say, but I, they're both the complete opposite. I and mean, I don't you're a confused know which girl, right? More. Like, like, yeah. And I say that not in like a demeaning way, but like a, you feel like a little girl in front of a parent right now. Um, yeah, well, and like so, I, I know what I want to say, but I also have feelings towards the five that I still haven't completely unraveled. That's why I'm not sure if I should. I mean, you can just ramble shit at him. He'll kind of get it. Um, he's just a bit annoyed with you uh i would prefer you not to roll something i have things planned out just keep keep talking see where the conversation takes you say stuff i don't know what i'm doing yako have you ever i knew before all of this i thought Have you ever thought of asking for help? Because it seems that you take help when it's given, and then you resent the fact that people don't give it uh, to you just without you asking. But people have their own problems. They're dealing with their own things. I that's, just... not why I don't... that's not why I don't ask for help. Well, why? I spent a lifetime screaming for help and nobody came. And so I had to learn to do it on my own, and it's hard for me to ask, and I'm trying. 
I'm trying to learn. Well, try harder. Don't hurt my friends again. Don't run away at the first sign of discomfort. Don't hurt people. I tracked Sam. I think I got him once with my gun. And that thing is meant to destroy anything it touches. You have no idea what you're doing. Too far in to say no. Yako, if I said no now, you know exactly what they do. Do you understand how far along I am? I'm on the last one. I don't know if I can turn back now. I don't know what to do. I, I need help and I don't know where to get it. Because no one else can seem to touch him. Well, it seems that you've made a mess of things. You are asking for help now only because you're... You've been found out, you've been caught. If you hadn't been locked in that jail, I heard. You were let out by someone. If you hadn't been caught, if you hadn't been so reckless, you would still be completing your trial. You'd probably be one of them by now. Without a thought given for the people you've left behind. The same people no. that you were so angry had left you? Isn't that right? What you're did you mad want that me they to left, say? And then you left us, sitting there, worrying, waiting. Yako, what do you want me to say? I know that I fucked up. I know that I am in a terrible situation entirely of my own making. And I see it now. I messed up. As you're saying that, you see Payne and Sam climb to the deck behind Yako in silence. Yako. I want to move to push Yako behind He's me. He's looking around. Your mouth moves, you didn't hear anything. And Sam puts an arm around his neck. No, I, 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 sh I shake my head. I am begging. There's a blade in the small of Yako's back, and he's held there for the moment. And then the sound cuts out that you can hear. You called for help. Are you all right? Let him go. It wasn't him. We took care of who it was. I was in the water. I was drowning. I didn't know what else to do. He turns his head, and there's like a piece of his neck missing. Let him go. He shot me. Please. He's a threat to the family. Sam, please. Please let him go. If I let you go, are you going to attack me? And he's kind of like choking, he's going a little bit bluey red. And he like, very nods, saying, We're in a bit of a predicament here, young Nia. If I you go with you, will you let him go? I don't, don't see how I that don't... helps anybody. He wasn't the reason I called. I was drowning. I was being smashed against ships. I didn't know what else to do. He takes the pommel of his knife. Please, and Sam. Cracks the guy's skull like three or four times. And Yaku just goes limp on the ground. And Payne moves over and just like puts a foot on his chest. No, I he's start not, second. He's not dead. Please stop. Yep, still, we just. 
If I let go, he attacks. This is the only thing we could do. Let's have a conversation. It's fine. I... If you really want to, we can heal him before we go. Pain has some concoctions around him, just in case we got hurt. She's staring down at the scene, Yako unconscious, Sam in pain. She looks afraid and confused and scared and conflicted as all fuck. Okay, Sorry, so. I have a quick question. Yep. How far out does Pain's silence thing go? Hmm. Uh, suffice to say, you can't hear what's happening out here. I know, I was just wondering if it affected us in no, our own environment. No, you're not feeling it in there. You guys still talking just drink. If, it, if just silence sure. is a spell, would I notice it? You wouldn't notice this. There's a lot of trickery to these guys that you'll learn over the course of time. These guys had them all last season, and it was a head fuck for them. So it's Aurelius oh, yeah, no. no. Um yep. so <laughs> you have him I came as well to deliver some news to you. <sighs> we brought Aaron back. But it only lasted a short time. We need something from you. Because I know why. I don't know why you can't take him back. I think if we could get a powerful draw to him, maybe. I don't if you think find... that it... You can continue talking or you could let me say what I think. Sorry. You're okay, little sister. She flinches a little bit at that. You're going to Yakelheim to fight dragons. Find some more. Do what you need to do. Take the heart of one of them. They should be heads of Tiamat and thus have some sort of divine spark. I'm sure we can burn that out, draw on it, and break whatever is holding Aaron's soul hostage. We've tried several times. The longest we can get him back in his body is maybe 15 seconds. He's not having a good time where he is. Sam, I have a question. Yes. Why did you want me and my brother to find the body of Bahamut? Well. And why didn't you tell me that's what you wanted me to do? I thought you didn't want... I thought you didn't want Hexen as part of the family. I don't want Hexen as part of the family. But he was tapped by someone else. We have rules. If you've noticed, I'm here with you. Pain, did I give Hexen a coin? And he just shakes his head. I visited him at all? Shakes his head. Have I actively tried to get in his way? Nods. I want you here. As I heard Why what didn't you said. You tell me that's what you wanted? Because I want you to want to be part of us. I heard what you said to Yaku and the rest. It's not you, a lie. You really want out. I had never nominated someone before. And I saw in you potential to be better than me, to be a leader, to be the, the head of this family when I go. A kind, compassionate soul who has been hurt by everyone around you and deserves power and dignity. No, I don't. I'm a coward who ran away from my home. Let an artifact out that's caused a lot of trouble. 
even mm-hmm. if I was entirely justified in leaving, I still abandoned what I was meant to do. You know you can't blame yourself for that. Yeah. You, you know, and he like looks at you, you cannot blame yourself for your family being what they were. But they weren't you all that. Yes. And you didn't mean anything to happen. You wanted to get away. You did. And the family did not protect itself. You cannot... Let Horus die. Your fear was justified. No one should have to go through what you went through. But if you really want to leave, I have never taken a nominee. It's not against the rules. It should never have been done. Usually, it is up to the uh, family member to see through what happens. Pain would probably kill his, so would madness. Flesh would do something insane. (laughs) Despair doesn't care about hers that much, to be honest. I could just let you go if you really want it. But... The only reason I have our people working on Eren is because you're meant to be coming one of us. The control... Our resources aren't unlimited. We have our own wars to fight. I'm not trying to use this as a bargaining chip or blackmail, but literally as we need to be able to defend ourselves. You coming on board helps us do that. But if you're not, I need to find some way to better do it. Sam, I am terrified. Of what? Of everything that's going on. Look around! Why? Why did I have to kill Slim's village? There were women and children in that village. But did nothing. Why did I have to kill them? Why did I have to destroy the gift my uncle gave me? The scale. We needed you to break connections to your past, to old family, to be part of ours. It is hard. I understand that. It is something that happens. It feels wrong. I'm sorry for that. Killing the people of that village. We have killed a lot of people. But usually, it is to prevent greater catastrophe. Greater harm to us and our family. Then why did you kill all those people in the Umberheart Mansion? You didn't have to kill them all. I got in there to release you. Just so much. Well, unfortunately, when you have a bounty on your head, people come for you, seeking that. One guard recognized me, then another came, and another came, and another came, and unfortunately, they cannot match up. If you continue to want to join us, I promise you, you will be more powerful than myself eventually. Make a wisdom saving throw. Wis- oh, shit. Saving throw. That's gonna go. <laughs> All right. F- you are under the effect of a friend's spell. Oh, uh, what's that it's do? Just be- uh, effectively, anything he does, you see favorably. Um, there's a bit more to it, but I have to go find my book. Uh, so maybe someone can look it up just a sec. But uh, you don't realize yeah. you're under the effect of it. Even when you it wears off, you won't realize you're under the effect of it. It's just yeah, no, that's a fucking aura. natural one. So um, you cannot stay here forever. Your friends will eventually come find you. 
So, what do we do here? They're going to throw me off the boat. Ooh, that could work. They throw him off the boat. No, the ship won't like that. I only have... I really didn't want to need to use this though. I... Plans. I have an elixir that could modify his memories, but it's a bit precious and I was hoping to use it elsewhere. You use something... I'm glad you called. Good to see you. Didn't know what else to do. You'll be just a sec, these guys are about to go, and it's only been a couple minutes, you guys are still freely chatting. No, I need to remind you, friends. Yep. After the minute is up, when the spell ends, the creature realizes that you used yep. magic to influence its mood and becomes hot. It's a different, it's a, is, different it's a different yeah. ability. Oh, it's, is it's, it it's, it's like No, no, no. So what this is, is it's it gives anyone, after some talking, the effect of friends without the negative. You just don't realize it's happening. Oh. He's That's got like what makes natural, Sam fucked up. Natural aura that just fucks I'm up. I'm able to do that, actually. Yeah. Um, seeing this and the fact he said oh. that he wanted to save the potion, Nia's going to shake her head. Is he knocked out? Yes, this... Probably with... We'll leave you a healing potion if you really want to save uh, him. Though, if he does go, come after me again, I'll have to defend myself. I go up to Payne and ask him to attack me. I need to make it look believable. He sh oh. Payne shakes his head. Do you want me to be able to continue and not be thrown off the boat or not? Of course. I can take it. You we know, know I can. I'm strong. We We've always known, Nia. Is there anything I can do to help you feel more confident in your decision to stay with us? Anything at all? Could... Do you know where I broke the stale? I know I was supposed to break my ties, but that was a very important thing for my uncle. He was one of the only people good to me. You want me to find a shattered, exploded scale in the forest? Can you at least tell me where in the forest it is? Do you remember where we were? Do you want better? I'll find it. <sighs> okay, Payne, do your thing. And after that, I guess the trials of Sam begin. He looks at you with a smile. Ayn steps forward and he's like looking very sad and he um, pulls out another sheet of um, gold from like within his, a chest plate and he slowly folds it and folds it and folds it uh, and it becomes a tiny little um, like uh, thing of himself and you like next to each other uh, and it's got a like a loop so you can put it on a chain if you wish uh, it's like from a sheet goes down to like this little tiny thing um, but why his do you fingers, make me like this one so his much? fingers why? like have little points that come out so you can like sh like press in shape the gold and then he holds it in his hand so like there's a little glow for a second and then it becomes hard so the gold's not going to um, bend and mold he gives that to you I'll take it and I'll hug him. He hugs you and he just puts his like this like completely smooth face with his forehead against yours. It'll be okay. And he takes the arc to the edge and he sits there, cracks his neck, and shakes his shoulders, and from his shoulders his <clears throat> arms disconnect. So there's a piece of chain connecting his shoulder to his bicep. From the elbow to the wrist and he's this like slow swirling motion then the end of the fist close and just whoosh straight across the cheek 
Mm -hmm. uh, one hit sends you just sliding across the deck. And you get like mm -hmm. splinters down the other side of your face. And you're probably like bleeding from the mouth a little bit. And he's just like, like walks over, and, like dots down slowly. <sighs> she just kind of like shakes it off and tries to wipe the blood off of her mouth. And she kind of um, just gives like a, I'm okay. Okay. He sort of just like sends an arm and grabs Sam and his all his joints flare red and like this little like show of anger and he just turns and flings Sam off the boat a good like 60, 70 feet before jumping Jesus in. Jesus Christ after him. almighty. Yes. Sam keeps his mouth shut but you can see the shock on his face not expecting that. <laughs> all right. I mean, I, I would argue, I would make an argument. They absolutely heard me getting fucking flung across the fucking deck. Uh, yeah. So you guys will pretty much hear this thud outside, and then somebody got their ass kicked. If you run to the door, there'll be a splash into the water, and Yaku is just unconscious on the floor, bleeding from the skull. What happened? Oh, what did Nia? you do? Uh, oh God. She's also beaten up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Run over, like, is Nia by Yako? Or no, they're like quite far apart. He's he's about fifteen feet from the cabin door, okay. and she's about fifty feet away from him, against the edge of the the front of the boat. Supposed to be talking about my feelings right now, but no, I always have to handle somebody else's problems. And I walk over to Yako and I tap him with the heel and walk back inside. As you tap with you, <laughs> is that with the cure wounds? Like tap, tap, yeah, cure, cure wounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just, I just, just tap punt him with to the cure staff wounds with... into him. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, what happened, Nia? Are you okay? What happened? Five aren't happy with me. What? They were here? Just like, Yaka. take out my swords, like looking around. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. As Yaku wakes up, Bob's like, Yaku! And like, comes, like, slumps sideways out the door because he's too big and like sits Yaku up and he's like, stands over, like, pats him down, probably a bit too firmly. Are you all right? And Yaku just grabs his face. <laughs> what? Okay. The full cap. Oh. And just goes inside. Almost walking into the door frame, like hand out, and just sits down. You see, him, like yeah. slump into a recliner, sort of like chair, just inside the door. How much damage did I take, by the way? Uh, I could roll it out, but you're not dead, so it's fine. Yeah, also ending okay. season, so you'll have some time to heal. Cool. He walks over to a to Nia. I guess does she looks like she just got punched in the face yeah, and slung uh, across the deck. Okay. Well, I'll fix this with more of a med kit. I won't do anything magical. Please don't. I know that's not good for you. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, I, I just, pull out I just need to... some stuff. A little mm -hmm. bottle of little bottle of alcohol, some rags and tweezers, and start plucking splinters out of your face. <laughs> so after like ten minutes of that, make a medicine check for me. Yep. <laughs> As I imagine, Saren's just silently looking over things. Actually, if you want to make an investigation check, Saren, you might be able to. You're pretty. Yeah. You're pretty clever. You might be able oh, to figure yeah. out how yeah. this all happened. Yeah. I heard, I got a plus eight to medicine. That is an unnatural twenty. Okay. So yeah, after about five minutes, she's all as good as you're going to make her. She just needs a few days rest to get over yep. the bumps and bruises, and you can head back inside for drinks. I put on some uh, sparkly little band aids. There you go. Yep. All right. Get some uh, rest. Uh, next time you get smacked in the face, come straight to me. All right. Try not Pets to get smacked the in the face. Yeah. I prefer if you don't. You have a you have a very awesome visage. All right. Go. Go. She's shaking my head at little freaking Ignis. Um, I got a twenty-one. 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 Anyone? Anyone? Um, Anyone? <laughs> as you're looking around, you notice that uh, there's a indented fingerprints, overly large, at the edge of the ship, and you can see that there's some water 
pulled around the edge. So you can see someone's pulled themselves up there. You can see where Yaku fell and the way he's facing. Someone's come up behind him. Just bleeding from the head. So you kind of see that <clears throat> given the pool of water at his feet, they must have stood there for a moment and not just come in and stabbed mm -hmm. him. There's, or, there's no blood spray, uh, really. It was straight up and down attacks. Um, and they were kind of like, uh, not not a quick, like, in and out. It was a like, whack. Okay, like, next really step. leaving it in there to to uh, knock him down. You can see that uh, something happened. Like, there was like a... It, you, there's no footprints, not on dirt, so you can't see if there's a struggle or anything. Just that wherever Nia started and then finished, there was a pool of water there, so maybe something struggled with her for a bit. And then you can see bits of torn clothes, blood, and some skin in a line across the deck to where Nia would have finished up after being hit. And then the trail of you know drops of water ends as these people have jumped off the deck. comes back over to you so what's the scenario they snuck on board they knocked Yako out I'm guessing that they had some harsh words for Nia because there's some water over there and they've stood there for a bit to gather that kind of pool but there's nothing else around the ship, so... So it's hard to Give determine it. what, what we can I tell didn't hear anything stuff. you just said, Aaron. Speak louder. Yeah. So it's hard to tell from just water and blood and bone. Well, my guess is that they definitely talked with Nia and... Nia must have said something that's not making them happy, but maybe has placated them, if I use that word enough, uh, um, correctly. Um, Nia must have said something to get them to back off or to get their trust again, because otherwise she shouldn't be alive right now. There should be a fight happening. This is what I'm guessing. I'm going to have to agree with that conclusion. They're a manipulative bunch, but Nia is pretty smart. Very, very tricky with her words. So I imagine that she might have been able to not only save herself, but also Yako. But if she managed to get smacked across the face like that, she must have pissed one of them off real good. Saren kind of like brushes her thumb like near the scar that's going their eyebrow. Yeah. I'll talk with her later. Actually, yeah. no. Not later. Fuck later. I keep on doing this later. I'm going to talk with her now. No, 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 no. And he, he kind of just steps in front. Listen. This is a very delicate situation. Out of Yaku. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is a very so difficult. This is a very complicated, and very delicate situation. And yes, I understand that you don't want to put this off. I'm also trying to help. But the more that we try to force on her, I feel like we might end up losing her. And I don't want that, and I know you don't want that. I need to talk with her. I want to talk with her. I'm not going over to her to order things, to demand things of her. And I can't leave her alone for longer. I've known her for weeks now, so long. And 
I've learned these things about her over the time, and there's already been so much time in between with dealing with things, and I... My family, besides my brother, all I've known is manipulation and abuse. I wouldn't want to be left alone. I wouldn't want someone to wait. Um, I am... Just a second. Where are you in all this, Nia? You're just kind of like standing off looking out over the water or something? Uh, to like, yeah. Just like... Side, you kind of catch some sidelong looks at you as they talk or something? Yeah, well, I think she's kind of like a thousand yards staring over the ocean of what the fuck did I just do? What did I just do? Tamel comes out and stands next to you. Are you... I have forgotten his accent. Cowboy. Southern. Texan. Cowboy. Texan. Yeehaw. Um, fuck it. Whatever. I'll, I'll figure out how to talk. Uh, you're right near... Uh, Bob came in, no upset. Yako's not doing well. Salmon Payne came. Oh. And he sort of like, bear hugs you really yes. tight and picks you up. Uh, oh god. A little miss, you okay? Uh, pain hits hard. Alright, and he come with me. We'll look after you for a bit. I'm sure your friends will want to talk to you as well. And he sort of takes you inside to sit down. Uh, probably in your old cabin where he looked after you the first time. And you'll probably get a bit of deja vu as he comes in with like a bit of soup, bread, fresh crushed juice. Um, <clears throat> and sits down opposite you. You don't ever change, do you? I don't fucking help it. She smiles a little bit at that. She she has to in this situation. Alright. Back outside. You guys have probably seen this person take her inside. Uh and he would have like as as he's like guiding her, he would have looked at you and been like, come on. Um you know, if you want to talk to her, sort of do it now before she needs to rest. And I see, I see that, it's just... I'm also someone that knows what it is to live with a great deal of rage. And a unbelievable amount of guilt. And I agree, isolation is not the most pertinent thing, but... It looks like that she does have someone. She'll talk to us when she will talk to us. I know. I've seen what she has done. I was shown. She has told us. And when it comes time for us to step up to the plate, we will. And I take one of Saren's hands, because we are her friends. We might not have known her for too long, but I think we're friends. So we are. And if we are going to help her, we'll do it when it's the right time. But speaking of timing, You know, there's a thing about that timing, letting her speak. Usually, I would agree with that, Ignis. I understand what you're saying, but I can't. You can't get it out of your mind, can you? I can't. Because all I can hear 
and remember is how my own parents treated me. And with that, I realize I never really talked to anyone, Ignis. Because who's going to listen? Who's going to believe me? I needed someone to come talk to me. And Nia's probably scared. And being scared means that they can miss the right time. So I'm going to be brave for her. And if it ends up being a mistake, then I will take that on the cheek. I agree with you. And like I said before, you are a magnificent person. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be new. You're a magnificent man that has been through a bunch of bullshit, and I plan on talking with you too, because I've I've let you do too many things alone. As you say that, Yako puts his head around the corner and he's kind of like one eye shut against the, the sunk his head, so he's like Do you intend to leave me to drink alone? You coming in? Oh, <laughs> we should not leave Yako alone for a drink, Of course not. Come. Bob, Bob's like, oh, I'm here, Yako. He's like, eh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, Bob. By the Bob way, by the Bob way, can this come hang out with time, me and Tanel. We'll appreciate him. <laughs> that entire time, I did not let go of your hand. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. She, like, that's completely fine. And she squeezed, like, your hands when she called you a magnificent man. So. so Woo! Give me the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> you all go back inside. Pour a drink, uh, <laughs> sit around Yako's desk, and he just starts talking about just a random story, as opposed to like the things that have happened now. Details. He's just, I'll, I'll give you details. I'll, I'll, what we'll do is that will be after session. We'll have an interlude or something. I'll, I'll just like write a story about Yako's life and be like, ah, oh, this time I. Stabbed a man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> no, I want to know the stabbing. Why did he do it? Was it for yeah. a good reason? <laughs> no. Who he did he like stab? It. He, wanted, he wanted to feel the rush. Um, so, Ooh. <laughs> anyways, you'll sit there with alcohol worth more than all of your worldly possessions combined uh, in your hands. Uh, <laughs> Aside from my we will... 25,000 gold pieces. Oh, no. That's probably how much these bottles cost. They're freaking expensive. <laughs> Um, Diamonds. <laughs> we'll end the session. End the season. We will be having an interlude next week with just uh, every time I'm like we'll end the session. Raid. Hey God. Aww. God mode. How yeah. you doing? Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. We're just wrapping up the the season. Actually, uh, we are heading. Uh, we're, we're about to raise someone else in a few minutes. Just doing our favorite moments and things like that. Woo! Uh, no worries. Um, Saren finally put the moves on Ignis. No. That's not the moves. That's I'm not pretty the sure Saren put the moves on Yako, Ignis. Sorry, but... <laughs> Damn. Uh, thank you for your D&D &D friends. Uh, so we will be doing an interlude next week with just Kelsey and Sean doing a Saren Auric talking about, you know, shit that's been going on. Um, give you a chance to talk to your brother as well. And Yako and wrap up a few things. Uh, if you want to, I know you really have been wanting to talk to Nia for a long, long time. Uh, yeah. Possibly before the start of season four, we'll do an interlude there as well. So you guys can have a long chat about all the things you guys want to talk about. Yes! And just have that there. Because, you know, I we can. This so we bad. don't have to have the entirety of the boat ride play out during the season. You will just arrive mm -hmm. at your next destination. But I'm happy to have an interlude or two between now and then. We will either stream or record it. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so thank you very much to everyone that watched, rated, followed, subscribed, all the bits and pieces. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Thank you to my players, especially uh, those that 
you know, came in from friggin' PAX and were like, we have been up since five. We, you know, <laughs> flew in very late last night and managed to get a little bit of role play in. I think that was, they had some really interesting stuff. Auric killed a lot of people. Uh, so did Sloane. And then uh, she sold her soul to a demon god. So that was cool. Uh, yeah. And okay. she did it for you, Kelsey. She did it for you. Um, what is with our party just making deals immediately? It's just like, as soon as they see something, like, deal! Where okay, it is, listen. No what. Oh, I'm okay, sorry listen. the DM who doesn't give us out of their options. <laughs> I don't have to. That's up to you to be like, oh, maybe we could. But what about... And like, I didn't even give her options. She's like, I will give you my soul for his. And he's like, Yeah, to be dumb. fair, that was absolutely incited by Shannon. Yeah, no, that, that was definitely Shannon's yeah, that, fault. Just... And she could take all the blame for that. Yeah. Uh, exclamation blame space Shannon in the chat will have her blame for everything. Um, no. It, it does. I love it. The way love, I and I'll it. say it to her face. <laughs> you blame Shannon for everything. Mm. See, it's great. Um, yep. So. Uh, I just want you guys to know I had a really nice season, a bit less action-packed than, uh, season two. Probably a little bit more than season one, just because of Flesh's zombie horde that came after you. It's been a bit of a ride with, uh, some crazy ups and downs, but a bit more political than normal. Not quite super political, but a little bit more than normal. Uh, but... level? No, no, no. Uh, next season, I believe you're heading off to Yuckleheim on Yaku's boat. Yuckle and Yaku. Sorry that I made two <laughs> names so close to each other in a campaign so close to each other. He's off now. But uh, yeah, go for it. You'll be heading off there to pretty much just fight things the entire time. That's what you're doing. You've gone there to track something down. There will be much combat. So enjoy the survival combat side of this and less social. Could show off what I can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm genuinely really Blow excited for combat. Things. I want to. I want to show off the rake ability so bad, guys. The rake <laughs> subclass is so cool. How I've gone through my deeds so many times. Can't. Yeah. So like, yeah. Just all of peak, 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 peak. Sorry. Um, Sorry. So, we'll do a quick uh, favorite moments along with who are you, where you're from, and then we will find someone to probably knows the West because they're playing board games. And they're my buddies from Perth. Um, <laughs> So, we'll start with the. We'll start with you, Kelsey. Oh, it's me. Uh, hi. Are you me? Hi, I'm Kelsey, also Rogue Uzu on Twitter and YouTube, where on Twitter I draw a bunch of things, either relating to my games, commissions, or my webcomic. And on YouTube, I tell the story of the first game that I ran called Atlantis, and now a little short series of that I tell the love story that happened between my character and an NPC. Um, in my favorite moments, uh, <laughs> besides just being like, fuck yeah, kiss that elf man. Um, <laughs> uh, personally, I, I liked being able to just tell that murder god, fuck you. <laughs> so, damn it, <laughs> took mine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, so yeah, uh, Hope I wasn't too loud when I did that. It was just no, it was very good. Good. impassioned. So the I'm gonna throw in my favorite Kelsey moment was when you made Shannon cry while you were crying over your brother. Oh, I did. I didn't yeah. see. Oh. It, I oh, yeah. I don't know if it was like actual full on like tears, but she was at least tearing up. Um, I saw her so, nose going red. She was good crying. job. Oh. Good job. Um, all right. Next up, we have. Aaron. I would say that I successfully vegeta would myself and then stayed alive after blowing up a boat, but the moment that made me cry as a player was watching Nia actually starting to discern right from wrong and start asking, these are bad things. Like, why'd you make me do these bad things? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, she's learning. She's learning. She's evolving. <laughs> and like, like as, as confident as I was, that was probably like the legitimate like moment where it's just like, oh, I had, I, I hope I had at least the smidgen of influence on that. At least the smidgen as Ignis. And I'm hoping everybody had an influence on her questions. Okay. Everybody okay. did. 
because I'm really happy. She's heard a bunch of different shit from the five about the five that she never knew about since the start of the season. It's the yeah. first time she's been able to ask questions. I'm really, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that you played your character and like after getting your memories back and going through all this and you're fighting through confusion that you you actually stood up and asked the real fucking questions and i loved that that was and then beautiful. proceeded to take 10 steps back i mean okay fair it is okay. the five <laughs> who are you where are you from aaron uh, I am Aaron, uh, otherwise known as Yarshien. I am the creator of the show Is It Wrong to Try Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, a.k.a. Uh, How to Be an Adventurer parody series. Uh, I am also the Dungeon Master for D6, which is an upcoming game here on Roll for Damage relatively soon, uh, starting next month, uh, where I will be bringing a bunch of players into uh, a continuation of my world. And uh, I'm a voice actor, sound designer, and all that fun stuff. So if uh, you want to check that out, there will be some links that will be popping up relatively soon. And that's uh, that's that's it about me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Shelby, take it away. Hi, my name is Shelby or Whistle. I'm from the channel Whistle While You Work. It's a channel where I tell stories from my D&D experience and I draw whatever fun fantasy stuff comes to mind. I've been producing a series called Into the Farwood. It's a one woman production of a creepy retelling of a story I went through in D&D. Uh, my favorite moment was, it was technically a scene that involved me, but it was more how Nova played it. I adore how you play the five. They are such manipulative little bastards. And you do a really good job making them manipulative and like as like as a, a, a in character like sam genuinely had me questioning wait like being like yeah no that's actually a good point uh and i hate that you make me love pain i hate that you make me love this character and that i will be like actually sad as a player if something happens to him <laughs> wait till you learn their actual backstory and you know because right now everyone's just like oh my god they're bad but you don't really and no one knows much about them. So it's just like, except that they've killed a bunch of people. Um, thank you. Um, but I love how you play Sam. You really do a good job making him this super charismatic, otherworldly kind of figure. He does seem like a god. He seems like Final Boss. He does seem very uh unbeatable and i think that you know he's meant to be that way and you did a really you do a really good job showcasing that uh glad to see my girl to making mistakes it's what i wanted her to do um i was gonna say the the thing i like about sam is you guys aren't ever sure when he's being manipulative or actually caring uh it could be one it could be the other it could be neither it could be both it's I, okay, I don't know if Sam gives a fuck about Nia, but I think Payne does. I don't know. The, ever since my first interactions with Payne, he saw something, I think he sees something familiar in Nia. That's my personal, it's my personal take like, on it. Like, I could see the genuine in him. It's just like, cool. I'd still like to kill you, though. Oh no, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that by all means, I'm by all means yeah, fucking attacking, no. he's he, he like literally he's like one fucking wrist away from slitting my throat um these are not I don't... good friends for me to have but i do think that pain might actually give a fuck sam though i don't know i can never tell with i don't him. know nia thinks can... he's her brother though so i could feel like some genuine like stuff from sam but it doesn't excuse the rest of the things so it's just like mm-hmm mm -hmm. It's, I don't care if you genuine. Pinnacle, it's it's the pinnacle of like an abusive friendship, really. Oh no, it like absolutely is. Relationship. It's so... and the fucked up thing is that Nia can't recognize it. It's great. It's yeah. awesome. If you wanna wanna see some of the some of the character I'm channeling, go watch uh go watch Arcane and uh look at Jinx's dad. <clears throat> so... oh, shit. <laughs> don't do no spoilers, Arcane. please. I still haven't seen Arcane. Times. All right, anyways, yeah. we won't go any further with that. We'll just say thank you everyone for coming to watch. Uh, we are sponsored by Hero Forge. Thank you very much to them for everything this season and last season and season before. Uh, I'll be definitely sending an email to them saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we will find someone to raid. Well, we know who we're raiding. We are right? raiding my friends. All right, so uh, 
I'll get everyone to stick around for just for 30 seconds as I run this ad. It really, really helps the channel. Um, so just, just stick around and they'll be raiding. So, yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. See you next year. Bye, thank you. Bye, Bye. guys. See y'all next year.